day. Good, good Thursday, Jody. You're looking funny. Is it messed up? Not really, but I would say it's not exactly. Good morning, for Vegas Golden Knits. How's life in Vegas these days? Gosh, it's been forever. We used to love going to Vegas. What the heck? It's been forever since we've been. Maybe mom didn't like I'm it. so ready. Um, because when we did Vegas, it was this coffee's so good. Eating and spying. Spa Hi, Germany. shop shows. What else do you do in Vegas? I have so much knitting to show today. Well, good, because you showed zero last time. Right. <laughs> but I made up for it. Thanks for coming to the You making up for it? Good. Yes. I actually what are you are you turning butter? Mm -hmm. Um I have I have a reasonable amount of knitting. That <laughs> sounds exciting, doesn't it? Wisconsin. Oh Good my morning, goodness. Erica. Erica in, in Portugal. What? Carol. Hello from Idaho, all caps. Hey, Frank. Just woke up, somebody said. Lucky duck. They're laying in their bed, watching their iPad. Mm, Mad Stevens. We want to say hello to Star. We know you're here. Star. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe she's having a sleep in. Um, it's funny because Star texted yesterday. Um, are you guys podcasting? Right. Because I was so busy yesterday, I didn't even put a thing in our Instagram stories. Good morning, Anne. I had a very busy day yesterday. So what I forgot to mention last time is my friend Star. Anne, 3 a.m. knitter, yeah. Anne, yeah, has yeah. a podcast. Oh my gosh. Okay. A brand new podcast. So 3 a.m. knitter. We are going to all go watch Anne. She's That's from the exciting. very East Coast. Oh, so she's Canadian as well. Yeah. Good morning, Kev. That's exciting. We had lots of podcast recommendations mm -hmm. below our last video, so thank you to everybody for that. Um, and somebody just noticed your tattoos. Should we start with that? Yes. Let's okay. do it. So this one, you guys, I showed it before. It's um, a moth, and it's got some flowers. I actually brought the artwork. This is the artwork. Oh, yeah, that's so pretty. And we're going to color it next week. I love the bold lines like that. Yeah. That's really Isn't pretty. that great? Mm -hmm. And then this one, I didn't bring the artwork, but this is a swallow slash, or some people call it a sparrow. There, there are different birds, but it's kind of like that American traditional, and then it's got some flowers. So it, it totally goes, but very different, right? I love yeah, that they're it's sort same of like style. Related. Yeah. But love, love, I'm love. obsessed. Max, who is um, my oldest kid, yeah, is a tattoo artist for anybody who doesn't know, and they work at the um, Orchid Tattoo in the mall. And I think, mall. I think they're uber talented. So if anyone's in the area looking, they've always been very artistic and yeah. talented, yeah, that way. So very cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I want to say hello to more people because. Kling, good morning, Kling. I want to say hello to more Kim people. Kim Klinger, Stacy, hello. Oh, hello, Violet. I was oh. trying to read that. It was a long one. Yeah. They were visiting somewhere with someone, and I kind of got halfway through that. Shorty Pete's here. I love that people share where they're from. Mm -hmm. You guys, that's awesome. Hello from Iceland. Hi, My Tara. My goodness. Somebody, Suzanne made it on a live, finally. Where have you been, Suzanne? Diary of a Yarn Snob. Please tell me Julie's coming back with her videos because... God, I love Am her. I out of the loop? Are you doing your Diary of a Yarn Snob videos? She made me feel really good about my yarn stash. I think she, she still she loves yarn. She must be still knitting because awesome. she just got a Frankie Gray Fiber order wow. put in the mail this week. So it was so nice That's to see exciting. her name. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Good We've been here a lot of years. They're creeping yes. up. What? I don't it's understand. It's only been three. I don't understand how it's seven years okay. already. Okay. Um, New York City. Let's. Oh, New York. Vogue Knitting Live. You guys. Last weekend. I don't get FOMO. Ever. I don't get FOMO in the way that, oh, I wish I could have got that yarn or I wish right. I could have gone to that event. It was real for me this past weekend seeing people's faces and the people connecting yeah. and being together, that's... If I didn't set foot in the marketplace or right. a booth, I would have been okay. I right. would have... I really missed I the love, people. I feel 100% the same. It's always about the people. 
um, it reminded me of Rhinebeck. It was a giant migration. It was a huge, lots and lots and lots of faces. I, I am totally kicking myself. It's just, we, it we is. can't do it all, but I feel like next year we have to go to Vogue Knitting Live. So, yes. Just do it because yeah. it's, it's a giant migration. It's one of those big, big uh, events where lots and lots of people come from all over the world mm -hmm. and get a chance to hug people that you miss and you know the fashion show and the keynote speaker and Amanda start I would your have jar loved to have seen Hohe's um Hohe's evening with her story and her so she'll have to come back next year mm -hmm. can you just do a do over mm -hmm. <laughs> totally yeah needles at the ready okay one that really got me this weekend was the photo of all the people from the end of the table where Kevin Ray were. I don't know that I saw that picture. <gasps> oh, I mean, Kevin and Ray are enough. Because right? we had so much fun with them. Yes. God, I love them. Yes. yes. Anyway. Yes. I do love hanging out with them uh, I, on their channel, mm -hmm. watching their videos and stuff. So, Not in person. I mean, that no. was great. <laughs> Oh. And that's right in the in the lucky East Coasters. Yeah, we have amazing West Coast. Don't get me wrong, we have amazing West Coast. Sure, but I feel like the people and like us, we kind of stay North on our East side of the US continent with like Maryland sheep and wool, yeah. and all the other sheep and wools, mm -hmm. and Rhinebeck and Vogue knitting. Like, um, yes, I think they're very fortunate. That whole part of the country mm -hmm. has a lot of events. So, but we'll we'll get there. Mm -hmm. um, somebody just said, are we going to Knit City, Montreal? We are not. Tracy. Don't ask. I'm going to cry. I'm so sad we're not going. May is the only month Tracy cannot get away with Garden Shop. I can it's do a priority. first weekend in May, but I can't, for sure, cannot do May long weekend. No. So everybody in Edmonton would like their flowers that weekend. Yeah. Um, Listen, if it wasn't May, we would have our tickets booked already. Oh, God. We... 100%. It was that good. So if you guys are you wondering. You should go. If Everybody should pack their bags and go to Knit City Montreal. It was an amazing, mm -hmm. amazing time. Um, and who knows what's going to happen in the future. God, it was good. Yeah. Go. It was amazing. And even each year it gets better and more fine-tuned. Yeah. More vendors jump on. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't really want to talk about it because I'm so sad about it. She'll cry. <laughs> Um, I'm okay, but I just love Amanda and Fiona too. I think they do such a beautiful job with their events. I would go to every single one. So. Yeah. Everyone's going to love it. Montreal's a fabulous city. <gasps> Noni Baloney says hi. Aww. Noni. I wonder if Noni will be at the August um, event because she lives. That Flock Fiber Festival. She lives in that kind of general area. Is she not in California? But still, same coast. I thought she was closer to San know. Francisco. I'm not sure. But that's not in San Francisco either. It's the Seattle area. Oh, shoot. Right. I'm thinking of Stitches West. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. Anyway, I would still love to... See. Yes, that would be amazing. Good morning, Nina from Denmark. Um, uh, Yarn Mafia from Montreal. Really? Wow. Gabby from Frederick, it Maryland. It seems like this came around fast again. I was really looking for last night as I'm getting my stuff together because I'm a last minute, like uh, not last sometimes for this. I make sure now I'm packed. I've talked about that the night before. Yes, I do too. Because I like to stay in bed as long as I can. <laughs> I'll wake up early, but if I can just lay in bed for an hour, we start here at nine 30 is our goal. And Jody, no joke rolls in the dark in the door at nine 28. Yeah. Which is great. Mm -hmm. It works. Mm -hmm. It's no problem. Um, so that was me this morning. Yeah. I stayed in bed till... I did not. I had to nine have a shower. Nine Crazy hair day. Yeah. I had to have a shower today. But that's all right. <gasps> Michelle is in Oahu. Good morning from Portland. Love Victoria it. says, hey, caught you live. It's Victoria from Connecticut, now Maine. Thank goodness. We were going to go to Connecticut, but now she's nice. in Maine. Nice. So. Lucky duck. Yeah. That's a beautiful area. I just got to get a couple of things out okay. while we're ch ch chatting. What has been a highlight in the last two weeks? You got uh, a new phone. Was that a highlight? No. I but mean, it's nice. What it's did nice. you get? I love it. I just, 
I got exactly the same phone. Do we have the 20 phone? Did what you get you gold? The 14? Yeah. Yeah. 14 Pro Max or iPhone or whatever. Love it. I feel like you're just totally. And isn't it fast? Addict. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do love it. Um, uh, we had our 32nd wedding anniversary a week ago. <sighs> Apparently, I am now an old lady. Old ladies say they've been married for 32 years. So I must be an old lady at this point. So that was awesome. There's no way I forgot my phone. You brought everything else? There is a way. Let me just see. <laughs> Quite possibly forgot my phone. Do you want me to call it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't. Th oh, no, it's right here. Oh, look. Grocery Girls are live. Woohoo! <laughs> what? I got a notification. Um, oh, I actually got a couple of fun things. Yeah, you guys, I have... I went through, my, I really love showing new patterns and things, and there's some really good new ones. This, good. They're always good ones, yeah. but there's a couple of, for me, the standouts. But what have I been doing the last two weeks? You know what I rented? Mm. For $20, Megan. Ew. Uh, I actually watched the preview, and I love a spooky movie. That did not look good to me. No, it's it, it's getting, it has like 90-some Rotten Tomatoes. Like, it got great reviews. People are loving it. I do love a good spooky movie, but that's not Not it. so much. Um, you didn't love it? No. Uh, yeah. That sucks when you rent a movie like that, and it's disappointing. I don't know. Oh, the Super Bowl. Rihanna was great. It was mm -hmm. fun to watch the halftime show. It what was. What else happened in the last She's two amazing. weeks? That whole floating uh, stage thing oh. was crazy. And the amount of dancers and the visual effect you got from that, it was so cool. Okay, so... You watch Naked and Afraid more than I. Okay. I mean, I don't regularly, but yes, through the years, Jeff You've and watched I. Well, because it's just so shocking to me right. that people will do this. Yeah. And it's, let's just tell it's people. Like watching. You're just waiting What is it? For it's not for money. Down. No. Tell me. Tell, just give a quick little, what, what is it? Two people literally get dropped in a very remote area where they're to survive. They're survivalists, but they're naked and they're strangers. And it can be anywhere from 21 days to like 40 days. It can be Africa. It can be the rainforest. It can be jungle in South America. It's everywhere. They have no shoes. It's nuts. I don't get it. People do it, I guess, for bragging rights to say that they were able to do it. I was... Some people get medically removed because it's very dangerous. It's insanity. It's hell on earth. If I'm... <laughs> So th this was the headline of a story I saw no. on Instagram. A man burned his wiener. Well, no, no kidding. On the fire. Wow. Ow. Ow. While he slept. First of all. Why? He must have been freezing to be that close to the fire. And, and second the, of all. What? <laughs> I don't even want to know how that happened. Second of all, what? But I'm not surprised. Look. What do you think is going to happen? Like, I'm surprised more guys don't have more stuff happen. Like bites and it's gross. It's awful. It's awful. I it's want, like I want a, to say so much more about this, but I probably shouldn't. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. I just thought it was funny. The headline. I'm, listen, I, every single time we watch it, it's the, the, the shock yeah. that people will do this. There's many seasons of this show. There's people mm -hmm. lining up to do this. Mm -hmm. It's insane. For nothing but bragging rights. No. Listen, I don't need that bragging right at so all. So your spot for that show will be taken by someone else. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Okay, um, books. I th I'm not sure if we talked about this, but I know you read it. You you said I you told were you going to it. read that, and I did read that, Jody. Okay, so I'm about two thirds through. <laughs> Somebody said weenie roast. Totally. Yeah, beans and wieners for reals. Um, for reals, the house in the pines. We've talked about, I've mentioned before, any book that Reese Witherspoon um, picks as a book club selection for the month, I never have to read what the book is about because she picks enjoy it. great titles. This one, you guys, creepy. Really creepy. It was weird. Yeah. It's not what I expected. Okay. Um, But I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It was very There was a best ominous. friend. Yeah. A best friend died. And then it flashes back from present day to what happened. Yeah. Like, it's really It is, creepy. I would say, kind of a thriller-y book. Yeah. Right? Mystery thriller. 
so good. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was very good. What are you reading right now? I, I'm i sort of in the in between. I'm sort of looking for a new book. So mm. that would be... You know who else I think? Um, I think Lisa Jewell has a new one. I love, love hers. Karen Slaughter. She's so good. If a name like Slaughter, you have to be a thriller writer. Yeah. Like, what else are you going to be? Yeah. I wonder if she changed her name. I don't know. But it seems to work out well. Yeah. Um, okay. One thing I want to share. I meant to share it last time, but it's been a long time. There's so many journal people out there and what do they call it? Planner people. Mm -hmm. um, this was a gift, a beautiful Christmas gift, but I did not know about this store. It's from a store called Choosing Keeping and it's in London, England. But there, this book specifically is bound with wallpaper, vintage wallpaper. I just thought that was so cool. So beautiful. So it's anywhere from the 1930s to the 1970s. So you can get all kinds of different um, patterns. Mm, that's um, so and beautiful. it's got like beautiful pens. So choosing, keeping. Um, it was a gorgeous gift. It's so nice. This book is beautiful. It's ruled. You can use it for journal or yeah. whatever you want. It's um, dyed on the spot. They're stunning. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a gift for that kind of person, or if you are that person, I did not know about this store. Gorgeous. It is beautiful. really beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, I just think that's such a cool thing to do with vintage wallpaper. Okay. There is a show that was taped here. What's it called? The Last of Us. The Last of Us. And it's about zombies? Everybody knows this show. Yeah. Yeah. But it's actually a... Um, it was a video game. So this is the okay. live action version of that story. Okay. But yeah, it was filmed all over Alberta. Some in Edmonton, Calgary, yeah. all over. You had said to me, I haven't watched it, but you had said to me, episode three is kind of like a standalone. I thought so. I thought it was like its own little story. You guys. Did you watch it? First of all, who doesn't love Ron Swanson? Right. Anything with Nick um, Offerman. Offerman, I'm in. When I saw he so was going to be in that show, good. I was so excited. Uh, my son was thrilled because he loved the game. Like, he was like, okay. it's so cool that they're doing this game. So he's not watching the show yet, but he's like, well, what episode are you on? And what about this character? And what about that character? Because I was like, oh, I couldn't believe it. And this was so gross. Um, but that is episode three. So did you watch Nick? I episode did. Three? I watched episode three. And it was amazing i said to jeff i their story i won't spoil it for people who but even this, if people don't like zombie show, this is not what that episode was no. you can go watch episode three of the last of us and just watch a beautiful story and it was like an hour and a half long it was a bumper episode it was so good oh it was so good i knew you'd love it yeah i, I yeah. knew you'd love it mm -hmm. um because really the one it, the whole it is like an end of the world thing like people are trying to survive and there's this yeah. virus that creates these crazy zombies and I'm enjoying the show but I really loved this sort of side does it ever go back reference that again because it was I don't think I it don't was know. like pre it was like at the beginning of um Jackson said Bill he loved Bill like he said all of a sudden in the game you're setting off all these booby traps and it's because you're near like the ones oh, Bill has yeah. set off around his his area but yeah, I love that um anyway I loved it. Okay. Yeah, it's not a virus. It's some kind of fungus. Okay. It's whatever. Okay, it was funny, actually, too. When we talked about last time, um, Ginny and Georgia, I said, oh, it's light, and it's it's not. Like, that was the ter terrible description of really? Ginny and Georgia. Because it's not light. I haven't watched a lot of it. I've watched some of it. Yeah. I mean, it's really good, and I, I binged it. But you did. Both seasons? Well, one full season and into the second. Okay. But it's really well done. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, then I'll, I'll keep yeah. going. Yeah. Anyway. With it. Um, yeah. So that's it. I'm always looking for something good to get And to always watch. like um, lots of real like reality starting up again. Like Summer House. Right. Um, Survivor's right around the corner. Thank goodness. Yeah. I love Survivor. Yeah. Um, um, you. Have you watched you on Netflix? No. I said. I watched. The first season. And we really liked it. I watched one and two. We we started number two. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots of lots of good stuff. I to, to be honest, I'm always too looking much. for a good show. I'm like, always I can't looking. keep up. I cannot keep up with everything that I want to watch. 
Well, I mean, the summer, there's nothing on, so you can just save some. Yeah, that is true. Right? You don't have to do it all at the time yeah. that it's happening. Yeah. All right. Okay. What are you wearing today? I was just going to ask you that. No. <laughs> no. I am wearing, this is the Sonder. I think the pattern's just called Sonder. It's a round yoke colorwork sweater by the Petite Knitter. I love it. I made this one last winter. I'm knitted in Sonder Yarn Company. They're Sunday morning DK. This is the color full English and shh. And it's kind of like a mauvey gray and this really cool warm toffee brownie color. Baked Sorry, beans. I just have to look it's up the color something. of baked beans. It's um, perfect. I love this sweater. I it's can't even tell you so how much good. I love. I love wearing sweaters in this yarn. I love specifically this one. I want to knit tons of um, the Petite Knitters patterns. She's got stunning color work, everything. Mittens, socks, yeah, sweaters. She's very classic um, staple, she's wardrobe sort of got staples. Hers. I feel like she's carved out her Niche. lane. Like she does these beautiful color work designs. They're not all at all the same, but she's right. got something that she loves color work and she loves natural, <laughs> ew. <laughs> she loves the natural yarn. So her palette is always just this stunning, you know, natural creams and grays and browns. And I love her stuff. So we'll link her um, designer page in our show notes on Ravelry. Yeah. Um, I love it. Actually, so. it's funny. Your color combination is so inspiring. I think I would have never, ever paired these two together, but it's huh. perfect. Yeah, it is a little weird, it's, hey? But it's 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 perfect. I it. And I actually, on Frankie Gray Fiber, I did post two colors that are very similar to this, and your photo of this, yeah. just saying... Here's an option. I've had a few people buy that combination. It looks beautiful. Yeah. I still love, I love the color. Mm. I, it is It is a little unexpected. This sort of pale lavendery gray, it's got a, it's not super purple, which mm. I love. That's sort of my lane of purple. Um, I just love mixing the warm and the cool colors and it sort of reads gray, but it's really not. Like it's, yeah. I love that. Oh, it's so good. Thanks. So, so good. I love it. And what are you wearing, Missy? Um, this I showed already, but Erin, um, a knitter friend of mine mm -hmm. who put her hand up and said, I would love to help you out when I said I would love a few things knit. So this is the Weekend Slipover V-neck, and it's by the Petite Knitter. No, it's by Petite Petite knit. Petite Knits. Yeah. And... Um, it's knit in Frankie Gray fibers. It's so good, Joey. Winter it's New York. Beautiful. And um, held with winter New York, held with uh, parchment mohair. But you guys, this it's is like so good. Actually, this is is a better size for me. The other one I knit is much bigger. I love this fit better. I think, Jody, this fits you way better. Don't you think the other yes. one's way too big? Yes. Yeah. Um, but like, look at this beautiful, like center double decrease for your V. Yeah. The ribbing. This is a really neutral kind of with little pops of like blue and gold. It's got that teal. It's, it's, it reads kind of neutral, but honestly, it's got so much interest in it. Yeah. I love it. Jody. it's gorgeous. The shape is beautiful. I, knit. I mean, remember when I started no knitting sleeves. one of those and yeah. then I hated the color. I thought it yes, looked boring. Did. So I still really want to knit one of those. I should knit a really bright color. Yes. Because you wear, you have jean shirts, you have blouse, you have t-shirt, you have whatever. Just anything goes with black. Yes. I basically wear black. Right. And I'm wearing black. Um, or jeans. Yeah. Right? No. So... Jode, it looks awesome Thank on you. you. She did a beautiful Aaron, job knitting. Erin did a beautiful Aaron, job. way yeah. to go. It looks amazing. Um, speaking of Petite Knitter, she came out with a new pattern this oh, past cute. week. It's a really cute mitten. It's DK. So you all are fingering and mohair people. And it's straight stockinette. Like, yes. so it's the scarf and the mitts. Yeah. It's a set, right? Yeah. Just kind of like... Um, like a vanilla project, if you're watching a movie, totally. or if you're going somewhere. Maybe not the mittens as much, but the, the wrap. But but for a long time, like those mittens have a very long cuff mm -hmm. before you have to start worrying about your thumb. Mm -hmm. So I think you totally could cast them on and just 
Yeah. Have normal, like plain knitting. Right? Love that. That's beautiful. Um, do you have any knitting for us this week? Because you had zero knitting last. I mean, I don't want to harp on it, but do I zero. have do I have knitting? Zero, Jody. Have you finished anything? Do you have any FOs? Yes, An Anoush fit something finished something for me. I'm gonna nice. steal this out of your bag. <laughs> it's so amazing. So um, you were the one that actually brought me on to this I love it. pattern. It's I love the Native Knitter, mm -hmm. and it's called Sheep Camp. Yeah. This is the swatch I was talking about. <gasps> Jody's like, she did a huge swatch. I said, well, she's a great knitter because that's what you're supposed to and do. And she actually did a... Wow. Right? Look at those colors. So this is knit in our Highland wool. It's a woolen spun worsted weight. Yeah. Beautiful. This is from Harrisville Designs. This is what Jody picked up at Rhinebeck. It's a heathered kind of charcoal. It's like if you love, oh, it's so beautiful. It's like if you love Brooklyn Tweed or you love those kind of woolen spun worsted weights, this is totally your jam. You're going to love it. And then my contrast color for the yoke is one color, and it is Spin Cycle. Yeah. It's their Dream State, which is also worsted. Yeah. It is... Candace from yeah. Farmer's Daughter Fiber. It is her colorway. It is. This is the one that is their Farmer's Daughter. It's called Slow Burn. Yeah. So it's gorgeous. Is it that is, Slow Burn? Yes. You should. We should. We'll show it when you talk about that. How different and beautiful yeah. these skeins Which is, can be. It's totally spin cycle, right? Like every skein can be so different. This one. Oh my gosh. It's. Stunning. Right? And you would think, like, looking at this, you think, I don't know that I would put it with a dark, dark color. There's a lot of dark going on in here. You know, it's funny. I didn't even think about that. But it's brilliant. This is so beautiful. Who doesn't want a black sweater, first of all? And look at how it's changed. Like, where's your swatch? Like, see all of these warm... Oh, yeah. See? Are you I can't me? even. I cannot. Are not you serious? Even. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Yeah, Anoush, throw that mic Boom. down. First of all, the design is stunning. This Sheep Camp sweater is huge. So many people have knitted. It is a stunner. I love using Spin Cycle or any color changing yarn as color work. I think it's, it's literally magic. You don't have to do anything to make no. it look brilliant and beautiful. That yarn does all the work for you. Let me feel this. Oh, it's wooly, but but wool not yeah. scratchy. Like and you can feel this is my warm yeah. wool sweater, but and it's going to keep its shape so beautiful and light. Yeah. Just light from So, and I I imagine she didn't even need that much yarn cuz it's kind of a cropped cuz I'm super small. You're right. This is a size, no, size um, one. It is cropped. And it's funny you say that because um, uh, I think I had an Anoush knit two or three inches longer for the body. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's super cropped. So that's the great thing about knitting your own stuff. You can have it fit however you want. Yeah. Just because it's designed cropped doesn't mean you have to knit it cropped, right? Oh. But just know you're going to need more yarn to add those inches because the pattern won't have... Yeah. That yardage in it. Jody. Yeah. She's going to have her moment next time. What? She'll all be wearing her next time. Tell me. Tell me. Oh. Like on a scale of one to a million, this is off the charts. Yeah. It's so good. It's a whole combination of everything. It's Anusha's beautiful knitting. Yeah. It is clearly the pattern. Yeah, and totally then the, the yarn pattern. together. I'm sorry. Anush, this is really dark. Right. She probably opened it. Go. I hope she cursed Actually, you out. She knew what it was. No wonder I sent she it. didn't want to knit black yarn. It was never a surprise. I had said it's real. It's dark. It's charcoal. It's so close to black. I would not even call that gray. There's kind of it's a, like heather. a heathered black. It's really not gray. Gray. It's yeah. It's way dark. I didn't use the word black. <laughs> it is so <laughs> close to black. I thought she would delete my right. contact. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. I mean, it really does just inspire me now. To get going on my sheep cat. Like when we were talking about knitting um, Rhinebeck sweaters, I kept saying to you, I'm going to knit this. This mm. I'm going to knit this sheep camp. And I, I I mean, I still am just in love with that pattern. Yeah. As in love with it as mm. ever. So this is such a cool version. Mm. 
I'll post about it on Instagram. Like you can use mini skeins to create this effect. You can use like little leftovers. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use just the yeah. one yarn. Love it. Look at that. I know. And like now you could unravel this. I'm going to knit a hat. Like you could totally unravel yes. this to keep to keep the yarn and make some. There's enough yarn here. The spin cycle to make mittens or another hat. Yeah. So that's awesome. So good. Yeah. Love that's it. That's a swatch. That's a serious swatch. I've never. Uh, well, I know. She could teach a class. Totally. Right. Yeah. That's incredible. Wow. Okay. I'm so impressed yeah. and inspired by that. I have to go. I got to go. I got to go cast on the sheet pants. I'm out of here. Um, I have a finished object. <gasps> you do? Yes, I do, Dodie. Tell me about it. Well, I cast it on about a year ago. Mm. Um, but that is not an indication of how much I loved it or not. Right. I, for some reason, just considered it kind of a something to work on whenever I kind of felt like it. I sure. wasn't in a rush to finish it. I was loving it. It is the Auntie's Cowl. Who is, this is crazy. This is by Candace English Farmer's Daughter Fibers. This is her um, beautiful tube style cowl. That's twisted. I love that. Infinity this. style. Look at this graphic. I really back. only worked on it maybe three or four times. So, because you can, like it goes pretty fast. The color work was really easy to work. But I had been in her sock club, in her sock squad. Are you serious? And so I wanted to use one of those colors. So this pink color was in her sock squad. It's kind of a sport weight sock yarn, wool sock yarn. I love it. This is what it turned out like. Okay, you know, with that... Did I do it right? Yeah, with that twist, yeah. it kind of gives some stability to kind of stay up around your neck. Yeah, like where you're not like <sighs> with a cowl, right? <gasps> Tracy. So it, it dips there a little bit. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure I was going to twist it. I was like, ah, okay. I don't know that I wanted the twist. Okay, that's a lot of color work. But it's color work where the there's not a lot of, I don't, you almost never have to catch floats. I never catch floats even when you probably should. And let's be honest, this you're knitting in a tube. All of the ends are inside. You never have to catch your float. Not once. Even if it's a long strand in a project like this, where it's closed up, you never have to catch a float. Okay. Right? So it's kind of a good one for that. Okay. Um, but it's so pretty. So I did not have spin cycle. This is designed in one color, main color, and a spin cycle color for the main color. For the Look contrast. at that change. Oh, gosh, it's good. So actually, it might even be her slow burn. I don't know if I... I don't know that I printed the whole pattern, like all the info. Um, but I love the graphics that are in it. Like she's showing you, this is how long it's, this is just her like, um, what's it called? Schematic for the cowl. Okay. Showing love you the that. length. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, beautiful. Um, and there's Candace wearing it. So you can use mini skeins or whatever for something like this to, if you wanted it to be lots of different colors. But can I try it on please? Yeah. It, it feels <gasps> oh. amazing. It's very squishy double fabric. So this is sport weight? Yeah. Thing Tracy, this is a lot. Oh. It's nice and cozy, but right? look how I mean, it stays. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if it was just a... Even, like, on a roller coaster. This sucker's going nowhere. But, like, sometimes when you have a cowl, it kind of, like, squish... I don't know. But this feels I cozy. Like, it's hugging your neck. Yeah. It totally feels cozy. I think... Can I have it? Yes. No, no. Of course you can. I would, I'm teasing. No, but if you would wear it, you can absolutely oh, have it. it's beautiful. Um, so I had one skein of this pink because it was just, and I had this little ball left. I actually did not knit the last motif in the pattern. So you'd be out. Because I was thinking I was going to have yarn chicken and I just was not in the mood to pull yeah. back. I think I might have had enough. But this is what the yarn was. This was their August 2021 sock squad and it's 90 percent merino 10 percent targi sport weight it's, it's very squishy like it's lovely you this guys yarn, it's next to skin soft this yarn is a sweater waiting <gasps> to happen i loved it now is this a temporary base for the club or is this now something i don't can know find? i don't know yeah. but i loved it um 
And the creamy color that I used was Woolens by Barrett Wool Company. And it's mm. these are small skeins. I want to say like 60 grams. And this was what I had left from one. So sometimes you only needed those, one. Sometimes those little ones. This was perfect. And this is amazing. This is so nice for color work. Oh, it's so it's kind of sticky in the best way. Like it really was plump and beautiful. And then my third color was Amble from the Fiber Company. This is um, kind of a plump fingering weight. I think they call it sport weight. You're you, ambitious. I love this color. A fingering weight cow, like... Jody, That's a it, lot of knitting. Did you think? I don't yes. think so. I mean, it's knit on a little 16-inch circular needle. So you're just... And I guess fun. It was super fun. fun. If you like color work, it is super yeah. fun. And I would kind of like knit six or seven inches and then put it away. And then yeah. come back to it. But the last two times I worked on it, I did like... A big amount. Huge amount. Yeah. And it just seemed to go... I really oh, like that every you round guys, was the different. I can't tell you the coziness of this on. And it folds in my double chin. Right. Hello. It's felt. <laughs> and so the last step of this is to Kitchener, like, graft mm. the beginning stitches to the last. And it was awesome. Mm -hmm. I love that, too. Magical. So it was really fun. It's it's the kind of project that I love. And every single yarn was so nice to work with. That it's It was a project I, I loved. Oh, it is so stunning. I would do it again using, like, a zauber ball. Okay. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't even have any ends to worry about. You would just have two yarns. Okay. And so when we talk about those color changing yarns, yeah, and everybody's price point is different. Yeah. Specifically, when we talk about spin cycle, um, and somebody wanting to try it in just one skein project, right. this would be something. I think you need two Do skeins. Do you need two? Okay. I think you would need two skeins. Rewind. Forget Urch. I said that. But, listen, this is a long, 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 long tube. You could do a project with one skein yeah. where it's just a regular tube, not the long tube that you join together. Just the regular, like, 10-inch cowl. You can absolutely, like your swatch look like. And I don't want to say expensive because that's all relative, right? Yes. But... Do you know what I yes, mean? Yes, you're hundred percent right. It is relative. It's relative there's, to there's, whatever budget. There is price. There is color changing yarn in every lots of price points. Not every. I would yeah, just want to say lots. Lots of price points. Um, giant fans of Spin Cycle. There's yeah. no shade. Cand no shade being thrown ever. Because ever. this Candace has knit hers like you said in Spin Cycle. Um, yeah, and I think it might be in her slow burn color. It looks too no. I don't no know. Burgundy. Maybe it's too dark. I don't know. I wish I'd I'd printed the whole thing. Um, um. Anyway, it's a great project. If anybody likes um, this kind of like knitting things in a tube, it's a little bit of addictive, right? Mm -hmm. I loved it. Love it. Loved it, Jode. So now I have this. The only thing I really have left is this amble sock yarn. I love this color. That's really beautiful. That black teal. So dark. Yeah. It's called Black Beck. Oh, black interesting. Black Beck. And it's soft, like crazy soft. Oh, you guys. It's like black a midnight Beck. teal. Yeah. There's a lot of interest in this color, like lots of heathered oh. black and that peacocky teal color kind of. Is mom watching this morning? Good know. morning, mom. I would hope so. Yeah. Well, she might have a life. No. Who knows? She doesn't. She not probably on, does. Not every second Thursday morning she doesn't. Listen, I'd be surprised if she wasn't here, but um, she might have a life. So Jill Zelinsky. What? Good morning, Jill. She said she finally caught us live. You did. You did. Okay, so my next FO is, good, um, I want to say good evening to Naveen. Who's in Palestine? Good evening. Good evening. Wow. Gosh, you're far from us. How are you? Oh my goodness. Okay, didn't want to interrupt, but I just wanted to. Jody, this is so exciting. I can't even. Okay, so um, I designed. Oh my God, this color combo. Tracy said you should design a hat with like bulky weight, like fit. DK held double, and I said done. You need it because I did need you it. You have worsted. You have yeah. DK. 
You love a quick hat. Love it. Who doesn't love a quick speedy? Yes. Yeah. So I have, kn- this is called the Frank's Beanie. It's not out yet because I want to do it in correlation with kits for Frankie Gray Fibers. Brilliant. Because every kit that I do will end up getting this free, <gasps> this pattern free in their kit. A free PDF? Yes. Or oh printed. Oh my gosh. And that will be a selection. Do you want the code or do you want it uh, printed? Or both, I guess, if you wanted me to print it for you. Um, this is called Frank's Beanie. It's so cute. And it is um, a ribbed hat, DK held double. And these little blips are created by slipping stitches. So not color work. No, mosaic. Basically work. striped. Yes. Wait, so people are worried about stranded color work. That's not what this is, No, right? that's not what this is. <gasps> Love um, it. There, because a ribbed hat is so forgiving, there's two sizes. There's a small medium, which this is. If Jody, you, that looks so cute. I can't If you like even. a more fitted beanie. And then I did the opposite. Oh. So this is, you've got the same two skeins of yarn. Yes, but oh, that's so cute. you're only going to be able to knit. Okay, so two skeins of DK weight yarn yeah. will get you two completed opposite um, medium, small medium hats. Cool. I that's thought, awesome. This one has more stitches. This is the larger. This yeah. has 12 more stitches. And I thought I was playing. Well, weigh it. No, no, yeah. You I know that it's it's heavier than 50 I was gram, I was playing yarn grams. chicken and I thought oh my god I did it so if you were on gauge this is what you'd have left so possible but knitting a medium and a large okay but then I realized I missed one of the repeats so the oh, large so hat at the medium height right so unless they're both medium you're not going to get two hats and right. But close, you could get you could knit a medium at the pattern and then a large with the medium repeats because there's one less repeat in this right. compared to the large. And knitters know that, like they know when they've got their two skeins, yeah, right. That they'll figure it out by doing one less repeat. I can squeak out one more hat, but two mediums easily as the pattern's written. Two small mediums, yeah, yeah, easily, yeah. And um, Star, I'll send it to you. It's funny, I didn't send it to testing. Uh, let me test in it. I'm looking for something to. I'm knit. sending it to you. I have Ashley, who is on the East Coast. Um, she got... Here's what I did. I sent out like 20 packages of Frankie Gray That's Fiber exciting. yarn yeah. with your, some of your patterns, my patterns, some other patterns for shop samples. Nice. And so Ashley and then Kel, our friend Kelly, yeah. who is in Lethbridge, got these. So I'm going to send it to you, Star, and I'll give it to okay, you. Okay, I would love to just knit it. Oh, I can't wait to see what your sample color will be. Just to knit. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can have... It's mosaic. It's mosaic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you can have fun with, if you know, like, two fingering and a mohair equal a sure. DK. Right? It's kind of like a pattern, but maybe a recipe where you could sub in... That's that's so true for lots and lots of... Right? Yeah. 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 Um, Jody, I'm so first of all, this Elmer color. Sorry, Elmer and then blush. Amazing. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Oh, Melissa Melissa's says she's here. knitting, she's knitting for you right now. Yeah. That's so cool. I people I, it, the what people can't do is feel the squish. Yeah. The squish factor of this rib. Jody, this is so beautiful. And people are gonna knit this a lot. Yeah. This is awesome. So it's fun how it's like Ooh, opposite, and right? And you could do, you literally could do every stripe a different, you could do a gradient look. Endless. Wow. Love beyond love. Mm-hmm. And I love a good beanie. Yeah, me too. Right? And I didn't, Jody, it's so I didn't put pom-poms on them yet. But I will. But yeah. So this will be out um, next podcast. And then I'll be able to have kits for you guys. Because I, I really wanted... To you guys to be able to take advantage if you felt like it. Right. Get a free pattern. Get the yarn and then the free pattern and right. the kits. So that. Jody, I'm not kidding. Okay. I'm so Okay, excited. good. I'll send that to, to you guys. I think today. I know what color I'm doing already. <gasps> you guys listen, it, it's really hard to pick in your shop. In like an if you have like a five hour evening, it's done. Hilda sh- Hilda wants to see the inside of your hat, please. Okay. Hang on, Hilda. This is how much I this is what I love for live. 
We can do this live. Have little interactions. Cool. That Elmer and blush are awesome. This Elmer is so good, you guys. Okay, you know what else would be amazing is hibiscus and Elmer. If you really go really neon, but the blush with the orange. Yeah. Like that that like, Elmer is stunning. It's a barely paint. I might have to shop at Frankie Gray right now. For Big Apple, calling my name. You know what? It's fun. I the the all the fun speckles we did last week. Yeah. I brought like three or four pairings of semi solids. Oh, good. So I we can have like a part. show and tell. Love. Yeah, okay. Yay! So that was fun. What um, else have you got? Okay, well that was your knitting. Okay, I have a whip. Oh, oh good. Have, and I have a coupon code for our viewers related to this. So this is exciting. Okay. Yesterday, no, two days ago, the Eclair Raglan came out. Nice. The one I have been test knitting for Laura Penrose. It is this gorgeous cabled bobbles optional. Oh, there's no cables on the sleeves. No. Did you do the turtleneck? Uh, no. So, I mean, you, so this is the version without the bobbles and she did the folded neckband there, which looks really nice. Um, and then there's also, this is her, so there's options in this, uh, in this pattern. There's turtleneck, folded neck, bobbles, no bobbles. She we love options. Split hem, yeah. regular hem. That's all included in the pattern. Somebody asked about the Taylor Swift club. Yes. She's doing it right. Like this weekend. Oh, so. Okay. I forget about that. Um, so I. The test, to complete the test, you do not have to finish your sweater. And I knew that wouldn't be an option for me to finish it then. But, oh my gosh. I almost just wore this the way it was today. Because you guys would never know it's not finished. I've tried this on like six times. So well, nice. Well, we'd notice when you had one less sleeve. Right. <laughs> we might notice that. I did <gasps> Look finish. At that. You guys, I did finish a sleeve. That That's was my, a lot of knitting. That was my weekend last weekend. You can see a slight color difference here. Mm. But yeah, you can. Yeah, I can. Only At night, I was out. like, is it there? Is it not there? And the next morning, I'm like, oh. Did you not do helical knitting? It's totally there. So I'm the yarn I'm using is Brooklyn Tweed Shelter, mm. which you shouldn't have to alternate skeins because it there's dye lots, and it's not hand-dyed. It's a you know commercially dyed right. yarn. So that's one of the things I love about using yarn like this. And as I get down to the end of my cake, another thing I love is just wet splicing my new mm. skein on. So you're spit splicing, and then I'm just adding to the ball. Okay, feel the sleeve. So I, this is tragic. The end of the story here is I have to re-knit my sleeve. Well, the first thing that caught my eye is how wide this is. No, but it looks really good on. Okay, good. Yeah, no. Feel your sleeve. Feel my sleeve. It feels different. What What is down here compared to here? I think I grafted Brooklyn Tweed Loft. Like, even feel it. Like, put no, your hand in it's here. It's a totally different way from see, here to here. Look at You it. can see that it bulges right out here. here. So this section here, I think I spit spliced Loft, which is fingering weight, onto my, and it's a worsted weight that I've you been knitting You can actually with. see the difference. I don't even know what to tell you. How did you, you have that? See, you can see how much thinner oh, it is a, there a million to there. Percent. Are you serious? Such an idiot. So there's a little bit of sleeve surgery happening. I'm gonna pick up my stitches down here. Where did you start? It's right here. Oh yeah, right. For, it's like two thirds of the sleeve, but it's okay. It'll go fast. And then I'm gonna pick up my stitches up here, and I will re knit down to here, and then I will graft these stitches together again to make my sleeve. Okay. It's okay. I was thinking you were going in the direction of the. there's a color difference. So let's be clear. There's no color difference between your skeins mm, of yarn. No. So the, the, the lot of yarn I bought to make this sweater. Are all perfectly. Perfectly okay. fine. It's the weight. It's, so the, the fingering weight loft is a totally different lot. It's a totally different weight. How did I not see that as I'm knitting? I just. Did I, you just pull it from somewhere not knowing it yeah, was. Yeah. I grafted it onto my ball and just kept knitting. How did it get to the I pile? I still of am not a hundred percent sure that it's lost. I don't know a hundred percent what happened here, because when I knit my, um, remember that green sweater with imbue, I held loft double for those some of those stripes. Mm. So I did have a part ball laying around. You think you might have done? I that? think I might have grabbed mm. that, thinking it was. 
I don't know what to say. see. That's a mistake I make, not you. It's a first. It is a first. And like, I had to do this kind of sleeve surface surgery on my husband's sweater. I've never done it before, ever, in all my knitting. And now it's the last two sweaters are going to have this kind of sleeve options. But what I want to say, that's just my own silliness okay. of being a whatever knitter. Um, the pattern is wonderful and it's out. I can't believe you made that mistake. You and me both. I'm really not sure what happened, Dodie. I'm not sure because I feel like loft has to be so much. It has to be. You don't like, look how it bulges the difference. what to say i tracy it is clear if you can think of a dumb like what no. dumb mistake can you make that you haven't made this this is it um but i i am i'm a right now i'm a victim of casting on too many sweaters i have too many on the go to totally finish anything quickly but i still love knitting this pattern i love it you will love wearing it. It feels like a dream. The color, you guys, the color is Speaking next. Speaking of smoky purples. Yeah. Okay, can I ask you a question? Let me ask you this. When you do surgery sleeve, are you going to keep the bulge? Oh, yeah. No, it won't be there anymore. No, no, but are you going to keep this section so you don't have to re-knit this? Yes. So okay. I'm going to put those stitches on hold. So from here... To the cuff. I don't have to re-knit that. I'm only... I love how your cuff is wider than like it's cinched in cuff. That's a cute little... Uh, wait till you see what it looks like on. I mean, it is... See, this is similar. No, like, no, this... no, no. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah. So this, I don't love. I don't love a tight cuff. And let me tell you, this is long. Like, this goes to here. I have an I idea. I did not chintz out on my... I have an idea. What? So you're going to cut out this part... Cut out the middle part and then graph this up here. That's a great idea. <laughs> no, I didn't, my, no, no, I didn't say great. I said I have an idea. That is an idea. <laughs> That's as great of an idea as whatever this is. Oh, my God. So the pattern is, is out, and it is really wonderful. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. It's okay. been a big smash hit release. Um, Laura has sent us a coupon code just for Laura. just for Grocery Girls viewers. So if you go to Ravelry or and PenroseKnits.com, you can use um, the code Grocery and save fifteen percent for a whole week. So she's oh. given us that coupon code. So we nice. will put it in our show notes on Ravelry. Thank you, Laura. Um, I can't wait to finish this and wear it. I've got a few inches on the body, and it actually grows quicker than you think, being a worsted weight sweater. Is there cables on the back? Yep. So the front and the back, it's really beautifully written. So you start flat and build up some, um, build up some real estate on the back before you mm -hmm. join it in the round. Basically, now your back of your neck is higher. It fits beautifully that way. And I remember telling you guys that I was confused as to how to increase with my test knit. I was like, it was just kind of, the words were um, continue in pattern. And I had never done a pattern like this where they just say continue in pattern. I've only done stockinette. So I'm like, how do I know? Isn't there a chart? Isn't there something to help me out? Now Laura has included this sheet. It's this amazing sheet that's literally takes you row by row for every size mm. and it tells you on this round you're increasing body sleeve and your, maybe a cable yeah but it tells you every okay, single perfect. round all the way through your raglan what you're doing i and so that feedback from your test you guys test knitting that's invaluable to... i have to say a lot of the testers were not phased by the continuing pattern maybe they've done this before maybe mm -hmm. they haven't done it before laura's here she said the tracking sheet was my everest i can't even tell you for me the value that this tracking sheet provides i think now i mean if i had had that at the beginning i i wouldn't have had my um moment of oh my gosh i'm missing something but at the same time i also figured it out so it can be done but this tracking sheet is 
gold. Perfect. Gold. I feel like, and it's every single size. It takes every, and it's very size inclusive pattern. So now I think if you're someone that's done a cable before and you've done a raglan sweater and this is something you want to try, I feel like that pattern is definitely going to be one that you can do. Awesome. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Look I, how much you learned. And, and I, you're an experienced garment knitter. And that's the thing. I love, even without this tracking sheet, I feel like I flexed a new knitting muscle. It's okay to challenge yourself. It's okay to be someone doing something for the first time. That's yes. how we grow. Right? That is how we and grow. And it's okay not knowing and needing to search out an answer. I also love. It's okay to not get doing, it. It's, it is okay to not get it. I know. But it's also okay to stay in the stockinette raglan because that's what makes you feel good. Here's the difference. Let me just say this. What? I would have quit. That's the difference between was, you and me. I was that. I was thinking to myself, there's something I'm not getting. Like, it's me. It's not the pattern. There's something I'm not getting. But really, it's there. Now all this information is there, and I feel like you're... You're not going to have that moment of, I love that. of what can I do. So I would definitely recommend the pattern. I think you should I would have thrown challenge it yourself. I love that. And at the same time, I you know, I really want this cabled sweater. I loved it. Laura has a um, YouTube channel, mm -hmm. the Knitting Pickle Podcast. She's, oh, that's I so think cute. it's Laura Penrose is the name of her channel. Um, I've been watching it for a long time, and she was sneak peeking these, this design, and I fell in love with it. Right away. I was like, this sweater is my jam. Uh, I don't know what possessed me to drop into her DMs and say, hey, can I test your sweater? Don't know her. She was so gracious. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm very grateful. So thank you for that. And I would absolutely recommend. So, that. and also here's the thing. As a, as a knitwear designer, not on a garment level, but right. you want to make the pattern as clear as possible so you don't get one email saying, that's, I don't know how to do it. That's always my goal. Right? Not only just the not getting the email, but the not having someone frustrated. Yes. I feel like if we're not clear as designers of whatever, socks, hats, garments, I, I think that's the goal. We want the pattern to be as clear as possible so that you're successful at home. You know, you've yeah. invested this money in, in the pattern we have certain responsibilities, I believe, as designers, right? So, love it. Um, what a great experience. I loved it. You, There's so much information I just got out of everything you just talked about. Really? I love it. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was. it's lovely. I could literally just sit in it on this and enjoy. I can't believe I screwed up my sleeve so bad, but that's okay. We're just going to get over that. Um, now, could, Brooklyn Tweed, question. Shelter, hello. As you knit it, were you thinking at all... <laughs> Here's the thing. Follow your intuition as a, as a maker. Tracy. Because I'm knitting it going, wow. <laughs> this is the... Because ultimately, I don't know that worsted weight's my favorite weight of yarn. But I, this is so light that it feels great and I'm loving it. But I'm knitting it going, wow, this is like a light worsted weight. I can knit a lot of things <laughs> loving this. Well, no, it was fingering, fingering weight, you idiot. Um, but we all have like things that I think that can help other knitters. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. It's not helpful if things are perfect all the time. No. Right? How boring would that we be? We want to share successes and fails. And I yeah. feel like this sweater is a giant success and fixing my sleeve is no big deal. Tara just finished her seventh sweater since December. Tara, you rock. Are you the fastest knitter in the world? Wow. Yes. Baby, baby sweaters, cat sweaters. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Barbie sweaters. Now that's like one a week. Wow. Um, no kidding, your hands must be sore. Anyway, love the pattern. I'm very happy to have stretched, you know, stretched my abilities and learned something new, and I can't wait to wear this. Okay, Tracy and I, when we saw this sweater. Oh, I know. I'm totally knitting It this. doesn't apply right now because we're right in the throes of our raglan along, and I'm still on my sweater. Right. I have not. I'm, we're trooping totally. our way through it. Thank you for bringing that up. This is totally a raglan along project. But this is going on my needles ASAP. I love this. It is called the Harlow Sweater. It's a V-neck. It's by Katie. Kadri. Kadri. So Kadri just released the Harlow Sweater, like maybe December? Um, this V-neck is like 
a new, so it's really a very kind of Look newish at design. Split hem, double folded V, relaxed. Drop shoulder. It's a drop shoulder, you guys. I don't, you can't really. And it's kind of like long, slouchy sleeves. <gasps> I know. I know. Oh. So good, you I guys. am imagining this knit in sparkles. Oh, yes. I mean, anything. Yeah. But I really want to knit. I really am dying to cast on sparkles. I I love sweater knitting so much. I could cast on a new one every week. But it's the, DK. The problem is, then you like you just get backlog. I feel like I have a backlog of sweaters at the moment. Okay, Sue's. Yes, thank you, Sue. I did not get a new printer, but I cleaned it a million times. I was troubleshooting. Good. Look at the printing. Yeah, huge difference. Wow. Your printer was filthy. I should have known. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's great. Love it. I do love sharing those kinds of okay, things. Okay, so, Jody, what's going on? Okay, should I show my sweater? Yes. Okay, so I am knitting. What am I knitting? I'm going to have some coffee. Sunday morning something. Sunday kind of love. Something. <laughs> It's got, just a minute, it's got the word I Sunday. I love how you just look at me and you're like, you know I will fill it in. It's called Easy Like Sunday Morning. It is a Melissa um, of Sonder Yarn pattern, and it is a free pattern. Her patterns are amazing. I still think she's crazy to be free. I get she's it. Awesome. I get it. Yeah. It, so if you're looking for a free pattern with tons of value, like it's so successful, everything's in there to knit. A successful sweater. It's going to be beautiful. I mean, we've knit, I don't know how many turtle doves and night blooms and Paloma. Like, she has a beautiful library of amazing designs, and they are all free. Free downloads. I am knitting in um, her Sonder DK a crew base, and this is window shopping. This is glass, and this, the light gray or silver rainbow mega sparkle. <gasps> This is basically a sweater from heaven. It's it kind of is. Oh, Jody, it's so good. I'm well into it, you guys. And truth be told, I haven't touched this in two weeks. Look how, how is far that possible? I've well, you designed a hat. I guess we can. I right? guess we, Jody. It is so dreamy. It is so. <gasps> Look at it. I can't even tell you how. What? So if you guys have knit a turtle dove, this gives you the same vibe. The neck is different, but it's got the deep raglan. It's going to be a bit it's of a boxy. Can you guys picture the neckline? Yes. It's kind of like, this I chose your, not to do a double. This is your color. The color that flatters you. It makes your skin I think, glow. I think this flatters. This is like a new, it flatters so many people. But specifically, it's going to look amazing mm. on you. It's <gasps> with your eye color and look everything. It. It's just, oh, it's just, and, okay. And I don't think it's showing up as good. Like if there's this, it's the palest icy aqua frozen lake blue oh i can't tell you how amazing this is going to be so the the mohair and um the dk you said were both sonder yarn mm -hmm. it makes such a beautiful fabric and these these sequins aren't changing your gauge at all right no. like you just added them and mm -hmm. and because although you swatched with it right yes yeah and i and i chose this sparkle it all went together i found the sparkle and then i chose a yarn that went with it so you would not see the um, the line of the thread that the sparkle was on. This one's mega bling. I do love that you sort of matched the thread. I think it really makes the sequins pop out more. Like it makes them stand out more if you're not, Look if it's it. not a marled effect of the yarn, the sequins and the... Yeah. Yarn, the main and a marl would be gorgeous. It would. It's just a different look. It's just not the look I was going for. I, I can't even. Listen, 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 Linda. I have all these half knit sweaters. Ask me what I feel like doing right this Crazy. moment. Put don't even. everything down. You have the next sweater I cast on is the yarn you gave me with the sparkles. You guys, 
I did not think I would be a sparkle sweater person. I can't even tell you how often I wear my yellow lento with rainbow sequins. Like if somebody Who sa- would have thought if somebody said, "Oh, I've never, you know, describe the sweater for me." I I can't imagine what it is. Lemon yellow, sock yarn, <laughs> totally. sunshine yellow with sunshine yellow mohair and a gold thread with rainbow sequins. And you would just think, wow. <laughs> I was like, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. They can even. And it's not. It is so awesome and cute, and I love wearing it. So I need more sparkle sweaters, and it's it's have, my jam. Have, I know I showed this em- you, empty, Yeah, but I've test-driven it. Good. I've test-driven it. You know. um, Shayla, who is Black Pearl Magic, yes, she um, is. does the amazing acrylic sparkle bags. <gasps> if you don't follow Shayla, you must. She, they people must. Yeah, must. Um, but she's made this interchangeable needle um, case. And she's got the pockets on both sides of the binder. And then she's got three little it's brilliant. pouches for all of your needs. I knew I loved it when I saw it. Yeah. But now that I'm using it, yeah. Guys, so I'm such a bag uh, storage amazing. person. And just like you say, this is adorable. We fall in love with the glitter acrylic and the cute, you know, zippers and whatever. But this is so well thought out as far as what it holds, how it holds it, the size of it, how portable and light it is and how durable. Like, it's it's brilliant. Because it's those things sometimes where you get it and you, because you want to love it so much. Yeah. And sometimes it doesn't always, you know, meet your expectations. This meets and exceeds I my expectations. I think so too. 100%. And I love the price. Po- I I just think everything about it. And a sparkle. It's, listen. And you can see what you have in there. There's, it's brilliant. Oh. I love it. Jody. I'm so glad you're. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And it comes in different colors. So it's amazing. She was at um, Vogue Knitting Live. We missed. I know. We made a bad decision. It was a very bad decision. Very bad. We could have gone. What did I do this past weekend? Nothing. I tried to stay off Instagram because it was all Vogue Knitting Live. Don't even. (laughs) What did I do? Um, I knit a sweater that was a sleeve that was ridiculous and needs to be. Well, it's garbage now. You might as well not. Garbage. Okay, speaking of glitter, we were in a group conversation (gasps) with Amanda. Our sparkle guru, right? Uh, Amanda, who is the crafty jackalope, um, and for some reason I said, "Did you know that there's sparkles you can get to put into your paint to paint your walls?" No, they didn't. I said, "I call bullshit." I don't Mind blown. You. So um, I'm sure you can get it of other places, but this is on Amazon Canada, and it's um, glitter that you add to paint. To paint furniture or walls. So I said to Jody, it's just going to be lumps in your paint. Like it's no. going to be, but you add it into, this is like regular latex paint. You add it in, paint your wall, and then you kind of like lightly sand or buff, buff. and the glitter, so the paint comes off the glitter and it's like. And this glitter, I don't know if you know, it is the finest, pretty. tiniest, it's not like chunky glitter i got rose gold like that but jody i also got the chunky one that stars and moons like it's you big it's big so i haven't i think i'm going to get i've always wanted that cute little end table from ikea that's metal basket underneath and it's a wooden top and i think i'm going to paint the wooden top with this just give it a whirl Uh really i want a whole wall done in it but so Amanda small. also, so it's funny, Amanda and Tracy did not know about this. No. So it instantly, we all got on and we all bought Sparkle. Mine came like the next day. Yes, you guys. So it's brilliant. I'm sure lots of people knew about it. Oh, I Adela s- had it done for Lola's room. Okay. I had no idea. Well, there's, there you go. Someone just said they added glitter to their kitchen floor paint. My, um. Shane's going to divorce me. My countertops when we did our renovation were right. hard. Like we went from regular laminate countertops to like a um, whatever stone. So we chose quartz, but I picked it with glitter. My countertops in my bathroom and my kitchen are gray stone or whatever, but they sparkle. There's got flex. I wouldn't change. And that's 10 or 11 years ago. Yeah, so we did that. Good. I would choose that again tomorrow. So good. 
I wonder how else I can incorporate into my that in my life. That's so funny. I'm gonna start painting everything with glitter. I would. And it's all your fault. Thank I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna paint my cat. You should. Okay, what's next? Um. Okay, I have another whip. Awesome. And I also have a swatch to share. I mm. I'm, I'm about to cast on a test knit. Are you really? That is super secret, so you're gonna have to forget yes, everything I know that, that I say. I can't share anything for months, but I want to share my swatch with you because I have another sort of tale of woe or warning. Um, and people are going to love the yarn, so I want to share the yarn. Oh. But, hello, Raglan Along. That was my Raglan Along, you guys. So, so Raglan Along is our one of our knit alongs going on right now. It is not too late to join. Guess All who it was is. in Ravelry, and I commented on You did not. I, I did. can't even. Um, so basically, it's any Raglan sweater. Any, if it's a raglan shaping design like this, like not round yoke or drop shoulder, but if it's a raglan style, it it counts. Yeah, come on in, enjoy join the fun. So I cast on the cozy classic raglan by Jessie May again. I think this is like my third one. This is the perfect example of continuing to knit the sweater you love. Yeah, this looks completely different. You're right. So. I think when I'm done, I'll do like a little fashion show of the ones that I've knit. And you can see the, the how multi-purpose the pattern is mm -hmm. just by changing tiny things. The pattern does not have a mock turtleneck. It's just a regular crew neck. The pattern is knit with fingering weight yarn and mohair. I'm using DK and mohair this time. But I got Same. gauge. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. So the fabric will be a little bit denser. Not as open and airy as the first one okay. that I did. So now mm -hmm. I have three of these. So Seeing that, it at different gauges, different, different gauges. shapes, different necklines. It's basically the same gauge, but the fabric will feel different. So I'm not doing any math, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, this one is a striped version. This is next level what? gorgeous. <laughs> what? Even my husband said the other night, he looked over, he goes, oh, that's a good sweater. Yes. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm knitting it in this again, Sonder oh. Yarn Co. You guys, I have such a yarn crush. Sonder Yarn. Um, this is Sunday morning DK. It's so good. It's such a it's such a good one. Um, this is the color Sleeping Beauty, which is such a beautiful. Can I just say this family of pinkies brownies yeah. looks so good on everybody. Oh, I think. Everybody's complexion looks great on you. It's warm. I love it. I think it's stunning. And I thought it would be amazing with black. The crisp black. So I really want a sweater that's cream and black stripes. And that will happen. Um, but in the meantime, yes. I'm using Sleeping Ooh. Beauty. So it's like a beautiful clay pink. And this is Opera in the, mo in the Halo. The Opera really adds dimension. It's black. Oh, and then how are you doing with black? So good. It's no problem. It's only like five rounds at a time. Yeah. So the other color is also Sunday morning DK. This is called Crossword. Sorry, interrupted. These are not the same colors. These are not the same color. They're different base. They're the same color family. They're different fiber. So mohair is a silk mohair base. They take the dye completely differently. And it just adds like that silk sheen. Mm -hmm. I just think it really changes. So this is the the yarn all by itself, but when you put it with the mohair, it definitely changes. Mm. And and that's one of my favorite things about mohair is that it really just so can change your yarn. It's so squishy. It is really. It's a good. beautiful weight. Um, and so, Sonder does have a black mohair, but this is Shibui that I happen to have. Uh, but this is Crossword. It's the blackest. It's pitch black it's I a great see that. great black that is a good black um i was inspired by a sweater i saw on instagram the hackett sweater mm -hmm. that we talked about last week um but i can show the picture of that if people want to see it um i don't know where it is somewhere in here but it was cream and here we go so this is the sweater that inspired me. I'm not doing a, a lower hem, but I just... Oh, you're not. I don't... Actually, I shouldn't say. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. 
I mean, I it's really gorgeous love just, just a to. regular. Yes. Maybe who the heck knows? You can, I yeah. don't really know what it's I'm whatever doing. Whatever you feel like, I don't it's know gorgeous. what I'm doing yet. At this point, <gasps> I'm just striping away, and then every once in a while, I go like this, and I go, "Oh, it feels so, so good." good. <laughs> you you've made a lot of progress on that. I did. So this is mostly what I knit this week. The sleeve screw up was last weekend. I feel like I could this hat and getting all these packages out. Listen, took a long time. And took a lot of brain power. You can be finished your sweater by next time. That's what I was thinking. Totally. If I send it to somebody. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> somebody, Who's up? Who, if somebody else knits Jody's it. Jody's going to have to put a turnstile at her front door of knitters coming to finish things she's cast on. Hey, you go no, for no. it. I'm, listen. It's too- I am having so much joy right. come out of this, this knitting with sparkle. Right. I can't even. Right. Oh, Listen. It's a slippery slope. Yeah. Slippery Thanks, slope. Thanks, Bex. Bex said you can do it. She's so sweet. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. If you... I did not think I was going to like Sparkle, you guys. I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> love it. I don't like it. I love it. Like, thank goodness Amanda does not live here because I'd be banging on her door like, so I saw you got... Uh, New sparkles. New sparkles. Can you hook me up? Also, if anyone was waiting, I did notice Amanda got some stock last week. She got lots of new sparkles. So if anyone was waiting, you might want to check her out. Totally. So yeah. Amanda, that we keep, she's the Crafty Jackalope. Go to the craftyjackalope.com, I think is what it is. She has the bling bar. It is where you get hooked up with all the sequin yarn. She's awesome. My glasses are so awesome. dirty. Yeah. So I love it. I'm uh, I'm it, enjoying my knitting. Everything I've got on my needles right now is nothing feels like it's weighing me down or I have to finish it or I don't want to work on it. I'm very motivated and I love all of it. Isn't that what you want to do? Yeah. Like that's, yeah. Yeah, it, it feels, but even sometimes, you know, if you say you'll volunteer to knit something later, you think, oh, I can't wait for it to be done. I don't feel like that at all. Mm-hmm. Like no. I, I love everything on my mm-hmm. needles. I love it. Yeah, starting a new sweater today. Actually, gonna cast on my test knit today. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting! But I can't share. So okay, our let's friend... just forget about it. Oh yeah, we'll talk about the swatch. Thank I goodness I can show you like behind the scenes. It'll kill me to not be able yeah. to show somebody. Yeah. Um, okay, so our friend Lolly, who is um, Ocean Loops yes. Studio, and she does the amazing stitch markers bracelets, uh, holders. She does necklaces, tons of stuff. I'm really loving the... F- Remember? Because you gave me a couple of your sets, uh, little stitch markers from Christmas. And I I'm, did. She's got the coolest style. She's got beautiful sets. She'll pick themes. Yeah. I was in her stitch marker of the month club. Like, yeah. And it's not just one. She does this beautiful set that all go together. Yeah. She's got a beautiful, artistic... You know, the way she puts things together with colors and themes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she does a beautiful I job. do love, like, the plain, colorful stitch marker rounds or yeah. the precious metal rounds. But to have that little bling on your knitting. I agree, Dode. I'm now obsessed. Yeah. I'm now obsessed. Yeah. So she had two. That's super cute. These are pre-orders. This one was her, gal- I think, Valentine or Gal. These are both Valentine-related. Adorable. Stitch markers. So they're not available. But I had to show you this. But it's a great idea of what comes out of her shop. Look at this one. Yeah, she has beautiful, beautiful things. Everything is tied with silk ribbon. She hand paints all the cards that you're... A pearl, a little Swarovski. She hand paints all those cards, hand paints and stamps. Um, She's super, super talented. This one was... Yeah, that's adorable. That blue, I got, that blue should be on your sweater. I actually got the last one because I purchased it and I was going to go, I thought, I'm going to go get Tracy one. Sold out. See? Right? Well, that's the thing. So now everybody should go to her <gasps> website and sign up for her newsletter because she does limited edition clubs. I mean, get in on it while you can. She also does these beautiful necklaces and bracelets and um, rings, stitch marker rings that have yeah. these beautiful silk ribbons on them and they hold a whole bunch like she's done amazing job and very affordable i think so too very affordable yeah. this combined with specifically this heart which is what sold me on this I one know. 
<gasps> She'll use like semi-precious stones yeah. and I love that. Adela, do I see you here this morning? Good morning. Good morning. We were talking about sparkle paint and I'd forgotten you had put sparkle. I don't think I in knew that. I don't know that I knew That's that. That's why I said to you, I don't even think that exists. But more than likely what? it's I forgot. Right. Yeah. Right. So Those yes, so Lolly, check out her shop. Lolly is also a high school teacher, so I don't know how she does it all. Okay. But she does. These are gold flat larger rings. I love Just those. flat uh, finish. These, if you guys can see, they're slightly smaller, but they're like a pounded. Fancier. <gasps> Listen, I use her, I use one of her ones all the time on my, on my stuff now. Comes in a stamped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good luck, you guys. And She's... she always shows an inspiration photo for the, the stitch marker of the month. I should get back on there that. It was icy blue. I wish she did an automatic renewal, because I forget. It sold out. Yeah. I mean, yes. That's right? exciting, right? Lola's room is pink with glitter sparkles. Every yes. wall, Adela, every wall is pink with glitter. I what I said to Jeff. If I had known about this when Georgia was little, she would have had a sparkle bedroom. At least one big feature wall or whatever you call it. I have it. to show you because Adele is here. What? Um, I want to talk about something that's here that I have to show. Okay. I know I just showed. It is, Listen, it's, it's your you're turn. You're messing up the flow. <laughs> it's your turn, but I'm going to be bossy and I'm going to Jody, insert bring it on. myself. Listen, bring it on. So we've talked about um, creative soul photography. <gasps> if you could pull that up, yes. please is a team of, photo of photographers that for photograph exclusively um, black children. Is it just children? Yes. Children. And Adela has been, um, has taken Lola to have a session done before. It's very exclusive. It's hard to get in because they're so popular. They're in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. And since it's then, Adela has um, been lucky enough to have Lola be included in a book, um, different um, campaign. I, I don't know if I'm doing it justice. What the Creative Soul Photography I, does is magic. It's breathtaking yes. what they do. Yes. It is the celebration. Actually, I have a pre-order of this new book that's coming out. And that's coming out this June. She's had three and a fourth is coming. It's super exciting for Lola to be able to be. It's so beautiful. It's so stunning. And I, I'm i in awe of what they do. It does, it does render you a little bit speechless what they do because yeah. I don't really know. So the artistry is off the charts. Yeah. What they, what they yeah. create and do and how they make these children feel as yeah. young people please follow and support if you can because it's incredible oh my gosh. so they have last year did um i don't even know if campaign's the right word but they did um what's the word i'm thinking of like did a collection? disney collection of disney princesses yes. where they turned these stunning beautiful children so, like this yes into oh my god into black disney yeah princess and then i don't know what came first if they were approached by disney to do it and in or they did it first and then disney saw i okay. don't know how it came about but their <gasps> barbies oh my god. Oh my gosh, I didn't were know made that. into their their photographed girls were made into actual disney princess barbies oh my god that's amazing so it tells you a little bit about um, creative soul photography. And then this is the original image of the girl that they photographed in her amazing dress, her hair, her jewelry, her makeup. And I then, get such feelings when I look at Look at the photos. purse. It's a frog. This is I Tiana. I see that. But did, listen, we are collectors Jody. of Barbies in our house. Inspired by Tiana, it says, yeah. Disney Princess. Special are... edition. Oh, it was the book. Disney saw it and reached out, and okay. that's how they came. Okay. Wow. I wish I would have done more homework. Jody, You guys, I, I couldn't pick. Oh, wow. So I bought two. This is an um, Cinderella-inspired Barbie. Wow. Look at her purse. 
It's the the state the oh, stage coach. That's so cute. Because at our house, Jordan was a ju- that's the only thing huge. she played was with Barbie. Yeah. But in that, and then collected. I wanted to get all four, but I only got two of them. There is two more. I feel like I needed them. Where do we get them through Creative Soul? Disney. Disney store? Shop Disney. Do they have them here? No. In uh, s- online. Shop Disney. Online. And they came very quickly. I cannot. Yes. Okay, and look too. Like, Disney Barbies aren't jointed like that, are they? No, not normally. No, this is really beautiful. So then the story is on so the back. Expressive. This is the This is the beautiful f- um, photograph that they worked wow. off of. Yeah. Oh, you guys, can you imagine these girls being made, first of all, into a Disney princess, right? That would be like every little girl's dream. the representation dream. is so And then now you're amazing. a Barbie. It's amazing. And Della said now they're walking around Disneyland and Disney World as characters like, as well. I can't even tell you. That gives me goosebumps. Goosebumps. How incredible Truly. this is. Wow. Yeah. You know, because, you know, we don't have kids at home anymore, I never thought to get one for myself, but that's what collecting's all about. You don't have to be a kid to get these. You just support it and put it away, and it's not... We have dozens Forever. And these dozens. things are limited yeah. edition. We have Rubbermaids full oh, of George, dozens Oh, George has got so Barbies. many just collectors. Yeah, that, that we've never play, played yeah. with. Yeah. Okay. That's on the list for today. Right. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize. I think I have. Do you know how hard I sat on that website w- wondering who Look am I going to pick? hair. Like, I'm just. I feel like I was saying picking a favorite child when Wouldn't I could only pick two. love to be the person, I don't know, bringing snacks on the sets of these photo sessions just to see. I would love to see the process mm. because the photos are out of this world what creative yeah. soul photography does wow okay so i hope everybody goes and follows them and gets a limited edition doll it's you guys actually wow. the um snow white with her beautiful hair like and the the I'll red get a and I'll the get blue a and the one. yellow in her dress it was just and i think there oh, was no. a t- okay so here's the video again you guys Okay, let's see. Okay, Cinderella. There's see? Snow White. Oh, Look at wow. Her. Yes. She's got an apple. Oh, wow. There's Tiana. Oh, who's Tangled. That? <gasps> Tangled. Oh, I had a hard gosh. time. Yes. No wonder you have a hard time choosing. That's huge. I feel like I have to get the other two. You do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> then it doesn't seem like such a big price tag. Right. When you split it up. <laughs> Anyway, there. I think I believe they were sixty U.S. dollars for us. Okay, so not. Listen, that's right in line with for a collector's item. I feel like people uh, people know Mm -hmm. that that's the price range for these kind of collectible Mm -hmm. limited edition. Yeah, I used to love Barbies. I loved Barbies as a kid. I love them. I've still loved them as much as. Yeah. I used to love it. I think I loved those Bratz dolls more than Georgia did. Like every Christmas it was like, ooh, the ski chalet came out and the whatever, you know, I used to love Mm -hmm. getting that stuff. Mm -hmm. She did not like it as much as I did, I don't think, at one point. I think I was I think I'm going to take this off now because I'm having hot flashes. Yes, cheaper than American Girl. Adela, we've done the American Girl too. We did not. Georgia was huge into the American Girl ones because history is more her jam than Bratz dolls. So she was like... They're very historical. The girl from World War II and the girl from the 1920s. And Mm -hmm. we still have tons of that stuff. Did you keep them? Yes. Where? In buckets? Yeah. And the furniture that that you can buy and the clothes. It's really well done Mm -hmm. stuff. Really well done. She wasn't, she was older. Like we haven't done the American Girl store or anything, but wouldn't that be fun if you had a little Even as older, like, yeah. (laughs) Adele is like, that almost bankrupted me. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have to take a second mortgage out if you want to continue well, with american girl yeah it can be bad but at christmas I'm i was, always, bad. I was uh, always looking for something mm-hmm. special right so these american girl dolls were always a big hit mm-hmm. and she used them so mm-hmm. you could sell those for a high price oh really i'm not letting anyone take these out of the box do you no. know i want so bad to take them out of the box and look at them buy yourself and- one to, to do that then 
I mean, you know oh, I here's have? the thing. Are you really going to sell it? The reason you keep it in the box no. is for the resale value. If you have no intention of ever selling it again, play with it. Take it out. Enjoy it. You know it. what I did buy that I meant to bring? Bratz often did, or Barbie did, like a duo in a box. Yeah. The first um, same-sex box. Did you buy that too? Yep. I did. You're funny. Yeah, I love I love Barbies. I guess that's you're learning something about me, you guys. I love Barbies. There you go. Just when we thought we knew literally all. Your turn. Let's talk okay. swatch. Okay, here we go. I want to talk swatching. Because at this point, I think to myself, swatching's a formality. I'm pretty sure I know what my gauge is gonna be, especially. Um, I was holding fingering and mohair together, mm -hmm. actually two mohair and fingering together. So I swatched, this is also Sondra yarn. This is their free spirit color. How do you not have a sweater that I should already? put sparkles with that. Um, I do have the yarn. I just have to get the time to knit the sweater. There is a thread. Oh, I wish so I would have brought it. Tracy, what? there is a sparkle that would go with that. Well. The one with the silk Put a thread. pin in it. It's not the mega. Oh, I don't know then. I don't know if I'd love it. No, you wouldn't. It's like my black. You know my black on black? That's what I it would be. I feel like once you go mega sparkle, you never go back. <laughs> so anyway, I swatched in the round. And that's why there's these little floofy things. Because I would all... So I would knit the whole row of stitches. And then slide my stitches back to the needle. And I would pull my yarn... Not a noosh. Across the back... Mm -hmm. And then just knit again. So you end up with these th cross threads. And then you cut it in, in half when you do your... Because you gauge is very different from back and forth, purling well, and then knitting. So. I did not think it was such a big deal. Okay. So I You swatched, told me that years ago. It's I know that's what they say, but I really didn't think it... Like how much? Right. Like how... Like we're talking <laughs> half a stitch. So this... On six millimeter needle, same yarn, I got gauge, 16 stitches, bang on. Great, now I'm gonna cast on my sweater. And then I was like, oh, I really should have cast on flat, technically. The project that I'm gonna knit is not in the round. So I was like, okay, well I'm just gonna use the same yarn and do it flat. And that was this one, one, two, oh no, that's this one. Uh, I was two stitches difference. My swatch is now from 16 stitches to 14, like way off gauge, way bigger. So now I've knit the right side, purled the wrong Watching side. My pearls. You should, because it could have been a disaster. So what happens if this is the situation? If I didn't re-swatch, my gauge was much bigger. You're going to run out of yarn. You're not going to have enough yarn for your project if you don't swatch properly mm -hmm. and your gauge is that different. It's going to be way bigger than you were expecting it to be. Now you're knitting at a much bigger gauge and your size you chose is actually going to end up way bigger. God, that's gorgeous. So these are both knit on six millimeter needles and they're much different gauges. So to get back to 16, oh look, I dropped a stitch. I didn't even notice that. Um, so to get back to the correct gauge, I actually had to go down to a five millimeter to get to 16 stitches. So these were both on six millimeter. So it was no problem. Can to... you remind me what the, the holes are? Oh, the U.S. size of the needle that I cast on. So you do a yarn over to make an eyelet. So there's 10 eyelets there. I use a U.S. size 10, which is a six millimeter. This one only has eight holes, which is a U.S. Uh, five millimeter. Yeah. There's, yeah. Some people do like knots, like knots down your tail. There's other ways to do it. Because um, you won't remember. I'm for sure not going to remember. I'll remember the yarn all day long, but so I'm you, not going to remember. So you had to go down a needle, a full, two needle two sizes. Two needle sizes. Wow. Because purling, my purling's much looser than my knitting. Mm -hmm. So it affected my gauge a lot. Okay. But can I talk about, we can talk about the color. I can't even with the color of this yarn. So this is the same color on both Those swatches. Are the same. Yeah. Oh so I swatched in pink when I had ordered the blue. 
just so you're ready to I cast it yeah, on. Yeah, I just wanted to cast on, right? So the yarn I'm going to be using is Sunday Morning uh, Four Ply. This is the Ecru. I think it's Ecru. I wish I could get stocks in Sunday Morning yarn. Listen, they have my. Are they going to go lot public? My heart. I don't know. <laughs> but this is the color Solitude. Mm. That's really good representation of what it is. But the mohair I got is darker. So you're going to get, I'm getting wow. the marled effect. This is called Petrichor and this is called Solitude. And when so you beautiful. marl them together, it reminds me of like a denim kind of effect where it's mm. light and dark, but the same. You tone. know what it reminds me of? That wool folk luff because yeah. that's very the core of it right. was different than the blown in fiber right so Tracy, I, I really wanted gorgeous. to share the colors with you guys because i was amazed with the swatch let's be honest i really want to swear share the whole thing with you but i promised i wouldn't and it's going to be worth the wait you will love it so i it's a good thing we're not we're going both to zip doing this. we're going to zip yeah love like, it like honestly i can't say a thing that's it that's it. The end. But could we just... No, just kidding. Okay, I think you should knit something in this color. Uh, well, Look how it's going to be. Like, it's a good... Oh, yes. Yes. I also think this color... Can we say it's a neutral? <laughs> can we say? We can say whatever. Uh, it's so good. How cute with um, lemon cello. Yeah. Or lollipop, your lollipop. Like, this is a great, beautiful color, but I think a pop of something bright... And stay tuned for this. I have to. This is the year of magenta. There will be a magenta sweater this year. Right. Without a doubt. Right. Come on. This is what I got after Knit City Montreal last year. When you probably thought about it, I should have gotten it. I think it was Natalie that had the sweater yes. in this color. And it looked amazing on her. So anyway. Yes, Denise. Lollipop. Lollipop. Lollipop forever. That's incredible. So lots of fun happening Look, behind the scenes with that one. This is oh yes lollipop. Jody, that's what I want to do my hat in. Siren and either lollipop or wait, I brought or hyacinth. Yeah, so good. That's what Kate popped in my head. I got mohair on my lip gloss. Right. Um. Okay. I can't believe I dropped a stitch. I do that sometimes. I know, but I never even noticed. But that's the thing with whole, with mohair. Mohair makes your stitches so sticky. Like that didn't even go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So you could just pull it to the back and like. Vincent. How was Vincent. VKL? Oh. I was so jealous I didn't see you in person. Me too. Saw all the good footage. My ears are a little sore today. Really? <laughs> just kidding. I actually had a dream last night that. Jeff's walking around the house with a mask on and he's kind of coughing. And I was like, do you have COVID again? Maddie had COVID. I dream. Since we've been here. Like you said, you never remember your dreams. You are so Never. Lucky. Never. Oh, every night. Every morning I wake up with some weird. Maybe twice a year. Oh. I don't know what that no, is. I don't know what it is. Because everybody awful. dreams. I know. I know. Okay, you guys. What's going on? Hold the phone. So I showed you guys this. This is Color Wheel A. This is a worsted oh, yes. weight from Gage Dye Works. I showed you this, I think, last I time. Have one. It's awesome. I bought two. Just because of the yardage, I didn't know if I was going to do long socks or whatever. When you like one, why not two, right? That's Jody. So I cranked a two. <laughs> Actually, that's incredible. Okay, so isn't that exciting that so you cranked on your 48 stitches? Yes. And this is worsted weight. I just probably opened it three three pegs. So do these fit you nicely? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I love it. So if Don't you, you can imagine. That? So there's starting with blue on the inside. And actually, this kept going with the orange from the heel. I just knit off the end of the tube with yeah. the heel first because your idea, remember you suggested, what? so you always get the heel at the perfect stripe rather than in the middle of a stripe. I like it better. So I did, the, look at me, I did the heel first. Oh, okay. Because that's what you and said. I do do that myself because yeah. then, then I'm really... Then it always fits really well for me. Yeah. Right? I like measuring it that way. Yeah. Um, 
Jody, it looks awesome. So then the orange you can imagine was here. Right. And then this continued so, here. So it's right here. So yeah. The, the tube kept going. Continue, continue. I love it, Jody. And then this finished with the blue. And then I just cut in the heel and knit off the end of here. And then I'll just have so to. So Gage Dye Works. Kat is like crazy brilliant. Her her colors are amazing. They, she did these worsted weight ones as sleeves like yarn for sleeves there's the cutest pattern out there more than one i think but so i do i have one of these too but i when you love socks there's nothing like like i love mismatched socks i think and this is ankle so length. cute yes and you can get this the what the skein i got is like 170 grams or something like it's big big boy these i knit all the time i would oh. call these middies right they're not the full that you normally knit. That's my favorite color ever existing of Gage Dye Works. Tracy, I can't tell you how many times I wear these. I seem to grab these more often than any other pair. It's called All Together Now, and it's like a rainbow fade. Like it's... These are washed it's not, and, oh, these it's are so washed and dried in the dryer. So, okay, speaking of cat and this colorway, it's 11-11. All Together Now. Um, there's a new color that she just launched i feel like i don't know that i know this jody it's the same thing <gasps> so it's the same style as this all together now it's a different palette you can buy it as socks or you can make a hat or whatever out of it oh. she's also i believe doing it as a fade so you can do a whole sweater actually faded. she should just who oh, he's new one Totally. Right? Or you can buy, you know, just one skein of maybe the purple and, and then one of the green. Do whatever you want with it. But I, oh, I just love it so much. Okay, it's out there. It's called Wednesday at noon. I wonder if there's even, even any left. What day is it today? Thursday? So I'm obsessed. So this is another thing you can do with that worsted yes, weight yarn. You, guys. you can knit a yoke of a sweater. That's what I should do. But this has to be, this is, this is the baby version. This is actually all one skein of yarn. When you buy this in her shop, it's self-striping and then a, in smaller increments. So the stripes are small and then they get bigger. So they're all the same thickness as you knit. Okay, you guys. So this say, won't work for that. Say that again. I want people to understand so the brain. This is self-striping yarn. This whole sweater. Well, the let's look at just to the body from the neckband to the waist is one, I believe, one skein of yarn. To keep the stripes the same width, they are dyed in different lengths. So you don't need as much yarn to get an inch of neckband. You need more yarn as you go down to get an inch or whatever it is. So she's got longer stripes as you go, but as you knit them, they are the same width as you go. That's mind blown. Math. That's why I wanted you to repeat that Math so people math, understood. Math. That, your skein of yarn, she's done that for you. So every stripe, she has dyed a different length. So that as you knit it, they're the same yes. width as Genius. your sweater grows. Yes. Right. So somebody's like, what? OMG She's an engineer, yeah. right? Yeah. Can't, like a math yeah. brain. So these are brilliant. This is what the yarn looks like. So you'll see there's a big chunk of blue or purple or green, and then it looks like a rainbow. So you start at the rainbow end, and you just start knitting your sweater, and the rainbow will run out, and the rest of the body is all one color. I actually have a skein of this. So I was thinking for two of, yeah, you for sure need two if you're knitting a big size sock or you're going to lengthen the leg, but like I'm knitting for a size nine ladies, you could probably get up to maybe a 10 ladies as a shorty sock with one skein. I'm, I'm going shopping in her shop. What is Listen, that? I'm trying not to buy yarn and then things like this happen. This is all together <gasps> now. Worsted. Can you get me one? Yes. Please? Yes, I can. Do you only need one? For what? For a hat? Yes, for sure. Okay, I would like one, please. So there you go. Save on shipping. Oh. Everything. Okay, and then you add mohair to it. Well, I just... <laughs> well, of like, course you can. It makes me all a flutter, just even thinking about... <laughs> okay. Oi. Um, Love. So I adore... I adore. 
Okay, that. so your skeins of yarn can be knit to look like that. See? How gorgeous is that? Sue wants one too. Sue? On it. Sue. Uh, but those skeins that, that made those socks can mm -hmm. also be used to make sleeves like that. Brilliant. Yeah. Yes, I'm shopping. Just ignore me. Um, if I'm uh, if I'm out of it, then it's it would just worth the wait. If okay. Out of it. Okay. You continue while I've got something oh, to show. Okay. Okay. So I oh have an, another pattern. Melissa Lambino, who is Plank and Stella. Okay. Who we love. We love. We adore her yes, yarn. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Did you know she has some patterns? No. I didn't know either. Okay, you that's guys, really cute. She just came out with a brand new one right before yeah. Valentine's Day. There we go. Um, you check out. Don't get distracted. <laughs> Focus! It's called <laughs> Every Day is the 14th. And it's a DK weight hat. Do you want mm -hmm. the biggie? Yes. Okay. Please. With, um, always. Right. What a stupid question. With... A contrasted uh, little motif here that kind of look like hearts, you guys. Are you That's super cute. Right? It's DK weight. It's yes. got a folded brim, which we love. But this I is super adorable. love a folded brim. Yeah, have, I have love it. Have you finished? It. No. Can you please do that? What? What what if someone I'm else? I'm doing it. Um I just love this so much. And then this also caught my eye. Um the Orchid Adventure oh, Wrap. Oh, that's super pretty. And you know what else I thought it's about this? side to side. I love that. That caught my eye, knitting side to side. But what also caught my eye was, wouldn't this be great for our mini skeins? For yeah. Advents? I was actually thinking that with the hat you just showed, too. Like, every little row yes. of these blips. Like, you could do mini skeins working yeah. your way up like that. Anyway, so fun. Love it. Um, this is a pattern called Orchid Adventure Wrap by Norma. I'm not going to pronounce her last name because I think I'm going to butcher it. Well, don't do that. Um, n oh, n I'd love you. I, it's, that's not even probably close. But go. I thought this was really beautiful. And this is a new pattern. This is a this is a new pattern. I that's thought it was beautiful. just beautiful. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Thea Coleman has this sweater now hear me out i said to her how much i loved it like when i was and i didn't even see the whole picture yet she was just like worsted weight vest i was like yeah i'm in here oh really okay yeah hear me Isn't out that what it is yes okay. it's a worsted weight vest and the way she has styled it you guys is so cute isn't it's, it adorable if you don't love cropped just look past that because you can add length oh, and I would be in that group. Right. But I think I love the way she's done the little, I love the crew neck. I love the little cap kind of sleevey thing. And I actually adore the length that she's done it for herself Yeah, here. it looks really cute. Is that not the cutest? Yeah, it's I It's called the Gwendolyn Folly. No, Goldwyn Folly. Yeah. Oh, I just think it's so... And I love that bottle green, that sprucey kind of green. Mm -hmm. She looks beautiful staple like staple okay i don't know i'm gonna show you guys look at the ribbing i think she's done some, like offset ribbing for the cast on let's see oh yeah that's a fun detail it's like a little it's a fun detail with the cast on edge there at the top it's a top down um sweater oh i just love it i love um okay Wow. Um, oh, that's so cute. This is called the Top Down 2023 Sock Along 2. Who's that? Dolly. I'm not sure. If I'm Lace, honest. Dolly Lashram. I didn't. This must have been a sock along something top down. I don't know. It's like a speckled yarn and then color work is a solid. That's beautiful. Isn't that cute? Yes. For all our sock lovers out there. I thought that motif was really pretty. I love green and red. I mean, they're across the color wheel from each other, so they're perfectly complemented. Right. But I just love... Hi, Urban Yarn. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, I thought that was really beautiful. Um, love it. I did not just buy a Gage Dry Works yarn. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. 
up my phone number. Um, I love it. Okay, you guys. I... Oh, this is great too. Have you guys heard of this? No. This what is, is it? It's from the Pacific Knit Company. Okay. And it is a deck, and they have different ones, but this is a deck of motif colorwork motifs. What? For what purpose? Is it for a designing? Card game? No. It's oh. like build your own. Like, do you want to knit a sock and you wanted to add in a color motif? She's on several rounds of reprints, you guys. I happen to get one. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It is so cool. Pacific Knit Company? Pacific Knit Company. And why have I not seen that? Do I not follow them on? So what it is, you guys, is you get recipes for like how to make an infinity cowl. Oh, they've got an app. Yep. How to make a standard um, cowl. And then she That's has so good. all these... Uh, motifs that you can add in color work if you want to add it it's to a such a good educational it's kind of like it is it's not kind of like it is a stitch dictionary with some recipe pattern recipes a really slick fun card. fun 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 look skull and crossbones oh out of stock doodle pattern it's called the doodle pattern card yeah. deck let me tell you out of stock get on her mailing list there are doodle cowl hats and sausages. Okay. It's amazing. I love, I can't even tell you how much I love that whole idea. Okay. You said app. Yeah. These are amazing. Yeah. They have an app. Yes. Also, speaking And of they have. Okay. So this is the girl who had that at Christmas. Oh, okay. Right now we know she ha show okay. those patterns. So we, I'm sure we showed that. And here's the thing. You can use these, um, chart motifs in like fingering weight for socks or worsted weight for a cow. Like you can use the same thing differently and make so many different items. Right. Oh, there's a it can fun. Be it can be Cowl. a choose your own adventure. It totally is. Item. Yeah. Or it I can love just it. be like a little rim around a sock or the beginning after the ribbing on a so, hat. Okay, I'm going to sign up for their emails. Do that. Okay, you guys. App. Caleb, who is drowning in yarn. Yes. Has an app. Did you know that? I just it actually is saw genius. something about that. Okay. About your stash. It's a stash uh Keeping track of your stash app, right? Okay. I just saw this yesterday. Yes, it's a keeping track of your stash app, and I thought it was brilliant. People love that. People, like, people love it. People use that in Ravelry all the time. Um, it is okay. an app where you take pictures and literally you categorize, oh, wow. categorize it by weight. And you take a photo and you say how many you've got and you label it by the name of it. Wow, that's brilliant. Um, Good for him. It's called Yarn Store. Yarn Store. Okay, let's just go to the app store. It is. Okay. Uh, he's so pleased how it turned out. Um, he can't wait to introduce new features and adding things to the app. <gasps> Yarn Store Stash Tracker. There it is. Oh, do you know? Caleb is a professional ISO developer. No. So if you awesome have an app that? idea, he's your guy. Okay, you guys. That's brilliant. Okay. So we're going to use it. I just wanted to let you guys know because this just came up this week for me. I've never actually done the whole stash track thing. I don't know. Okay. So I'm not A lot gonna... of people use Ravelry to track their stash. I'm not going to do it all, but I will do a few and navigate the app and see what I, I think. I love it. But listen, if you're wondering, Caleb does nothing part way. Right. He is so thorough and so informed. And it's nice to have an app like this. Yes, because not everybody obviously uses Ravelry. So this is something that is just on your device. Yeah. And what if you like you go somewhere and like, what what do I have at home? Mm -hmm. Right? It's just right. such an easy, easy... Listen, it's pretty brilliant. And adding things to To be to able it? to literally flick Listen. through your app and go, I'm just going to look up Madeline Tosh DK and see what I have and how I can make a sweater because with combining what I've got at home. Right? I think it's... Okay, I'm buying it. Here we go. 
We're all going to buy it. Yes, we are. What's it called? Stat, um, yarn store. Yarn store. Um, Ding. I love that. Okay, that's pretty brilliant. Yarn store stash tracker. Is it this green one? Yeah. Yep. Tracy showed it, but I'm going to show you one more time. That green little icon will let you know you're at the right place. I'm going to purchase it. Double click to pay. And it's a one-time charge, right? Yeah. And then you'll just get updates as he, just like anything, right? It's already on there. Okay. That's exciting. I'm actually test. I told you I'm test driving a new app that hasn't been released yet. So Are that'll be fun serious? when it comes out. Yeah. <gasps> Remember I showed you that one? Yeah, you did. Yeah. I love it. Do you have I, anything to show? I just thought you forgot again. I have dream knitting yarn Good. that I bought for a project. And it's a yarn. It's a um, pattern that came out last year. This is Sweet Tart by Jose Paquin, an amazing oh. Canadian designer. It is the cutest. It's a t-shirt. Um... Of like an open neck, stripes. She's put the little eye cords to make it sort of look like a hoodie without a hood, I guess. T-shirt with a hood. It's so cute and easy to wear. So I wanted to knit this as soon as it came out last year and didn't. And our friend did knit it and it looks so good. It really it's did. sport weight, I believe. I hope so. No, it's DK. We'll make it work. <laughs> we'll make it work. Did you not know that? I thought it was sport weight. Because it uses the Spin Cycle dyed in the wool. It uses this yarn, dyed in the wool by Spin Cycle. Um, and I bought the Reminisce from Farmer's Daughter Fibers. This is, um, I believe it's Rambouillet is what this yarn is. It's so squishy and it beautiful. It's so beautiful. So it's Reminisce. This is the color Ranch Romance. And this is Slow Burn, which is their same color. You got quite, Different a, quite a blip of this dark in there. Yeah, so I did. Like, but I got some in there too. Like So as you, so it's just two yarns. You're just striping two yarns, but you're going to get all different colored stripes because the yarn will do the work changing all the colors. So, so main color, stripe colors. So I think it's going to be beautiful. not only super fun to knit, and wear, but wearing it. I'm going to do it kind of like a, it's a t-shirt, right? Yeah. I'm sort of thinking ahead to knits for warmer weather a little bit. I really yeah. loved knitting the t-shirty things last year. Um, I don't love the round yoke ones as much, although I did really love the Miserina by Caitlin Hunter. And Ranunculus. Really yeah, I guess I'm lying. I'm totally yeah. lying. But so this one's a raglan. Mm. So I'm really going to, really going to love it. It's so cute, and I bet you it knits up so fast. You guys, this was adorable on. So cute, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, again, use mini skeins to do a fade. You could do one color. I think cream and black would be so cute. So classic. Love. Love. So that's, that's Dream Knitting and some yarn that I bought. I was going to show you the freckled whimsy yarn that I got, but I won't direct, I won't talk about it too much because I'll crank some tubes for next time. Okay. Okay. I love the look of it. Um, oh, the mustache. <gasps> Jody, you've been so busy. No wonder you didn't touch your sweater. This was just a couple of hours on the machine. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to show. Okay. So. Okay. So tell me, do you split your ball of yarn? Do you weigh it? I weigh it as I'm cranking yeah. it. Um, and you can see. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> it works really well. Whatever you're doing. So, okay, you know what I'll do, you guys? Again, I'm going to put the heel in here, and then I'll knit off this for the the heels or the toes, one or the right. other. It never right? yes, for sure. So, okay, you guys, I went shopping at the Wool Baron. Good you, for you. We, you know Louise. Yes, she has amazing colors. Yeah. So I, if I'm honest, I don't remember. And she's local Alberta, which I love. Fall 2022. Oh, this is called One Badass Crafter. I love the colors. And this is DK weight. That's what got me. How much do you love that self-stripers are doing DK these days? Once you need a DK sock, you guys, you just, it's miraculous how fast it is. And they're not like wearing big, thick 
socks. No. They're just fine. They're, they're not. not. Yeah. Okay. And if they're too thick, you need a new pair of shoes. Go for the shoes, too. This one might be fall 2022. Oh, this is also nice. got some flex. I love this that it's kind of tonal like that. Also the wool baron, but look at the, it's like hodgepodge, but perfect. <laughs> right? It's yes. a perfect hodgepodge. Yes. Because it all looks I so nice together. I love the color she chose to put together there. Okay, this one is must be this one. Happy summering, right? Oh, that's awesome. Some neons in there. Yes, this that's bright beautiful. Cobalt blue. Look what's so on those the are inside. very long. Gage. Oh, that was stuck in there. Oh, because I was just I so, do this. So these are. Do you use this whole thing for a sock? Yes, right. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. not too long. No. I'm just thinking, oh, that's really long, but it's really not. It just kind of makes like a, 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 a longer I leg. I love this section. Isn't that pretty? Yes, it's awesome. Summering. Okay, you guys. Ooh, ooh. This. Ooh. Oh, I only have one left. I don't know which is now, which. Now, is this a mystery club? One of them might have been. I feel like you wouldn't have picked this, but it's beautiful. I love it. Freckled whimsy. Maybe you did pick it. Carrie, no. Ah. Uh, January DK yarn of the month. That might be this That's one. That's the eight, eight stripe. Well, That's that. This is called Sweet Nothings. Yeah. So cute. Shoot, I thought I was keeping everything together. I must not have kept that. This. Oh, Jody. just a sec. Jody, you're not. Hold the phone. It's that one. Shenanigans. Yeah. This is shenanigans. That's so cute. Because then oh, you could knit it in this March is Aquarius. for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that's what this is? Yeah. Is that 12 okay. stripe? I don't know. That's yeah, I think lot. so. One, two, three. Yes, it is. Okay, that's Aquarius. Okay. And this is shenanigans. Okay. Love. Yeah, Freckle Whimsy. Amazing. Again. You guys. Really pretty. So good look at green there's so much work that goes into self-striping yarn like not only just picking the colors that are going to make this amazing sequence but all that warping and dyeing yes yikes yikes that's yikes awesome is right that is awesome i think we're going to save this for next time sounds great okay um i just have a couple of Enhancement. Jody, do you remember this box? Do you remember? Yeah, maybe. I feel like we've dropped uh, the ball in not an intentional way. We This arrived and then it was um, 12 days of giveaways and Christmas and all of that stuff. And this got tucked in the prizes and we have not shared it yet. And... Today's Sometimes the day. It literally was only because of the timing. And then we didn't podcast at Christmas. Right. Like, if you guys and we forget saw everything. how much a, a workspace Tracy has, if you set it aside, you're probably not going to remember it. It was there. tucked away okay, with good. love. Well, look. With love. This is Tasha and Brian Froggett Yarns. And apparently they were at Woolen Folk. But we never actually got all the way around Will and Folk, so we missed them. Um, and now I feel really bad because now I'm noticing there's a discount code they have. I should message them. Whoa. Okay, that's not good at all. Um, they sent, they had put this stuff aside for us, ah. and we never saw them at Will and Folk. Okay. So I really want to share. This stuff is gorgeous and so beautiful. Did you know it was Husband coming? Husband and wife. Did you know it was coming? You, it came to you and you brought it here and it was like one of those days that it didn't get shown and then it got put away with prizes and then we totally. forgot and it's, I feel like a horrible. Got it. I dropped the ball. We both dropped the ball. Um, but they have a yarn truck. So they dye the yarn, they have a yarn truck, husband and wife, frog at yarn. So they're dyeing all this stuff, and how fun would that be? I just think it would be so fun to have a yarn truck. So they do this amazing hand-dyed yarn in Pennsylvania. It's really beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at these sock sets they've got. It looks like 
two 50 gram skeins, brickyards and barnwood. Yeah, that's beautiful. What? What a beautiful They sent two pairing. You guys, I can't even get over <gasps> that beautiful brick rich red. That is gorgeous. So this is a DK base. It's a 7525. It's very soft. And it's called, they're calling this the Outlander collection. That's so pretty. Okay, this is really guys. soft. Mar this is Merino Sport. What? That's really beautiful. This is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and the color is sun-kissed. That is amazing. And it's sport weight. That's so pretty. This is something that would make gorgeous color. I mean, amazing socks, hats, mm -hmm. everything, but... With this sort of sunsetty vibe, it would be so pretty. I can't wait. Like in the color yeah. work for your sheep camp, mm -hmm. it would be amazing. Those kind of, yeah. Just right? like a pop of speckles against a neutral or oh, a completely be contrasted. Gorgeous. This is um, Froggit. Merino okay. DK Duo, and it's got a 100 gram, and it's got a 20. That's pretty. I love that Look color. Look at that combination. <gasps> They're so good with their colors, Jody. So this is like a deconstruct. Like this seems like it would almost go with that one. Yeah. This is is that Outlander too? No, Aquamarine. Okay. That's beautiful. Oh, These God, minis are amazing, them. actually. Isn't that a squishy, beautiful blade? Yeah, face? it feels great. Oh, it smells good too. They call them tadpoles. The minis ah, they call tadpoles. So cute. It is so cute. And this I thought was stunning too. This looks like. They're both the same. So these are two more 50 gram sock sets. I can't get over how soft. Why is this so soft? Are they the same colorway? Yeah. So this is Leafy Sea Dragon and Abyss. I mean, gorgeous speckles. Wow. Gorgeous. Wow. So beautiful. Well, thank you for sharing. Frog it. Yes. Better, always, better always late than thank never, you. I, say. I hope so. I hope so. I think they are amazing. We're going to absolutely put um, for our sock bash. I mean, who wouldn't love to win sock sets? I think this, they're just so beautiful. I can't get over how soft they are. Thank you for sharing. That's thank beautiful. you. Thank you. Tasha said in her Excuse note me. that we ended up meeting Brian in the parking lot and taking a picture with him at Woolen Folk. You know what? And that Did they, he get out of his truck? I think so. And I, I remember that. And she said they've been watching forever. I feel terrible. That was so long ago. What was the date of this? What did what, what's the date of the box? I don't know. So, so it's not like we're it's out over of, there. So it's not like it's six months later. I know. And I know there's no schedule for this kind of stuff, but I do feel when we commit and said yes, we would love yeah, for yeah, you yeah, to yeah. send a box. It yeah. would always be something we would share in a timely fashion. Yes. So Tracy apologizes for dropping the ball. <laughs> but it was sent to Jody's house. Anyway, whatever. Okay. She also sent is... adorable pins. Lesson learned. Don't send it to me. Listen, no, I honestly, if we have to justify, I'm actually going to say the time of the year. It was yeah. crazy. And that's These our are own adorable fault. pins. Put them away. And then it should have been more of like a January thing. And honestly, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. They were tucked away with our prizes. So I'm very happy that we were able to share today. Um, I love that. They, they were like WTF, Tracy. Right. Why haven't you shown anything? Right. Jody. Um, that's hilarious. I love that the whole setup. I love that it's, you know, the couple, and I love they have a yarn truck. I love that. Excuse me. I'm bored. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so boring. And I'm bummed that we didn't get to see them at Woolen Folk. I know. One day we'll meet. Still, we never saw the yeah. whole Woolen Folk. Anyway. Okay. That's a whole other thing. I'm not going to do, again, I won't show this too much because I don't know that this is. You, didn't you just say you weren't going to show this? No, I was, wasn't going to show the freckling whimsy too much. And oh, okay. also this, because I actually, I ran out of time yesterday, but I just got this and I was going to, excuse me, crank me... a tube to show you guys. Okay, just a sec. Let it me is see. Is so it so good. It's this. Oops. It's called. It's that one? Yes. Single and ready to flamingo. Is that it? Okay. It's so awesome. 
Um, this is um, Stacy, who is mustache yarn. Amazing. This is called Taylor's version because I think it's a bigger skein. This is 125 grams. Oh, wow. 310 yards of DK. That's a lot. So I'm going to be it able is. to do the heels and toes and have a great pair. Or I could do you shorties too. We could each have shorties. Anyway, but wait till you see it. That's awesome. Isn't that fun? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I used to think that pink and red did not go together. Like, she's oh. got the red speckles in that paint. Like, it's perfect. I was wrong. I mean, I couldn't have been more wrong. I love it You're now. wrong. What was I thinking? So what's the date? Today? Yeah. The 16th. So in two weeks, I had printed several of, okay, so you guys, we talked about the neons and neutrals, mm -hmm. and you guys have all seen, if you haven't, Amy of La Bien Amie is coming out with a brand new book, mm -hmm. and now we've seen amazing. on Instagram and on our feed all the patterns. It's actually on Ravelry too. Yes. You cannot buy the patterns, but there's a preview of yarn right. and all the photos. So you can plan for projects, and when the, excuse me, when the book is released, March 2nd, third i think friday march 3rd and so when the book comes out i mean you can pre-order the book now we do have it on grocerygirlsknit.com yeah. um your local yarn shop might have pre-orders for it too but i love the teaser of all now we get to see the patterns on digital like that but there's nothing like holding the book in your hands and seeing for real they do such a beautiful job I'm sure it's got the linen cover. It's this gorgeous hot pink. I printed a few of the patterns it's this that were color out for me. Um, There's one that I know I want to make. Which? It's got sort of a chevron round yoke. And it's knit at multiple gauges. The, the yoke and the color work is knit at a finer gauge. And then somehow you switch gauge to looser for the stockinette. No. You change your yarn weight. Okay, this is it. Wervel. This is the one I want to knit, without a doubt. Her intention was we love knitting yoke. We love the color work. It's at a, a tighter gauge. It's, yeah, it it's has It's fingering to be. weight yarn. And then she said we want a bigger gauge down below. So right. I believe they changed to DK for the body. She says, so I came up with a way to connect two gauges together. Yeah. Micah's fast forward fix, offering an inspiring. Anyway, I am blown away by just the look of the design, but the fact that you're going to be able to learn this, um, it's so, who thinks of this? This is brilliant. Love it. I'm so excited. I've learned so much today. Have you? Yeah. Not from you. No thanks to you. <laughs> Let's be no, clear. I have. Let's be clear. Um, I love this? that. The little vest. Oh, I love. I haven't seen that with little. Sh I haven't seen all the designs yet. Look, look at this. Can you see it with the little chevron? Oh, it's like a texture yeah. stitch. Jody, I love it. <gasps> this is the one for sure. Calling my name. I like, wasn't gonna. So if you if we want to just link the pattern, the book, and then you can click on the book and it yeah, shows you all the patterns. It does. We don't. But look at this with the little ruffles. Oh, I love this one. This is the other one that I thought that I, I might make. It is, But look at the versions. There's cropped. They're showing different lengths for the ruffles. And I think the ruffles are mohair. Uh, Three-quarter sle elbow sleeve or full length. There's so many options. There's actually a jacket style. There's a jacket in this book that I think is like something you would see at an art gallery. It's yeah. like a work. There was 16. You guys... There's 16 p items in this book, and each one is as incredible as the next. Okay, I want to um, show that one. I actually want to pull this up on Instagram because this didn't really do it justice by the photos. Which one? But this is um, Caitlin. Oh, Con Confluence. Yeah. It is. It's so cute. It's a marled round yoke. It's hard to tell. It really is. Um, but there is like one, there's a main color yarn and then a, I don't know if it's Surrey or mohair, but in a different color. Yeah. Which I love marling. I think that's just brilliant. And then for those of us who love to knit wraps, and this is, she's big. Oh, yes. 
Is that the one with the, oh no, I was thinking of a different one. Can you pull up the hat? Yeah, that, it's right here. Not that one, the other one with the, with the patchy, it kind of looks patchy. The hat that looks patchy. Oh yes, how cute is that? Look at that. Right? She's wearing my sweater. Yes. Wow. Okay, I'm still trying to find a good photo of that jacket that I was talking about that's out of this world. This wrap is really pretty. Like, it's yes. little intarsia polka dot. But it's like lace. It's mohair, I think. It's lace weight. Shayla. So it's, you, oh, my God. You missed us talking morning, about you. Shayla. It's like lace weight. You can see through it. Why can't they find a jacket? Oh, I know what jacket you're talking about. Oh. Okay, this is it. O M G. <gasps> it's amazing. Look at this. That's a beautiful style detail. textured yeah. stitch. I love the neutral in the background, but oops. Obviously, this. <gasps> look at look. Like it almost to me reminds me of a kimono style. Giant sleeves. sleeves. Like it's it's very square. It is stunning. Whoa. I actually remember seeing Look at that, that on somebody walking around at Vogue Knitting. You did? Or trying it on in Amy's booth because she had all the samples. Okay, so this detail looks to me like you're holding like I don't know, five or six or eight or whatever colors of their helix and felix. Or Felix together, mm -hmm. lace weight, mm -hmm. but in these fun like pops of color. I can't wait to see what people choose. It's it's like poetic. It's so beautiful. How stunning and artistic are these photographs? I wasn't. I said let's maybe talk about it next time. But then I we started. I just kind of think think next time we podcast, oh, you guys. My gosh, I love it. The day after we podcast next is the release of this book. So, so maybe we'll have the book go to, to Ravelry show next time. Get your yarn ready. Start thinking about what you want to knit in this book because we're I'm going to absolutely knit something from this book. Wow. Mhm. Mm oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, incredible, beautiful. Yeah. And actually, um, Catherine of Brooklyn General also released her Good Day Sunshine sweater. It's striped and color work, like these suns all over it. I think it's such a Jody <gasps> yesterday. It's so beautiful. The book releases on Lamont's birthday. Really? So you can buy him a knitting book for his birthday. Mm -hmm. He will love it. There you go. I just think that's so pretty, and I bet it's so fun to knit. Look at that. I actually think it's a stunning sweater. Me too. Don't stripes just... All the do time. something 24 7 love and love, if i'm love. honest this to me at first glance i thought is that like po i look like dots to me and it looked very complicated but you guys it's really not like it's just stripes it's color work if you like color work yeah. i don't think you're gonna find it complicated like it looks like the chart doesn't look crazy right you're just striping your background color as you're doing this this sun motif which yeah. is brilliant i love I'm so, it i would love to knit myself one of these i think this is so pretty look at the pretty so envelope. pretty my order came in that's gorgeous from lolly okay i feel like uh lolly badali that's been my whole pile i have a great show and tell from frankie gray fibers jody today. Bring, it. bring it so i can't believe i just bought us yarn i'm so, so excited. excited okay so um, we're like, the way this has kind of come full circle where I knew I had always wanted to get these tonals into place yeah. so we can pair with and appeal to a broader audience, right? Because it's such a good combo with all yeah. the speckles, right? Not everyone loves the speckles. I get it. Um, not everyone loves just the tonals, right? I just feel like it's so great to have both. Yeah. Um, what I actually, what I want to start with is I had someone asking about the pinks <gasps> and so I just kind of wanted to show you guys like as in O M just beside each other. So we're going to do a post Jordan's working on that right now where you have all the pinks on one post and labeled so people can kind of see them next to each other. This is amazing. What? 
So, so hibiscus. Hibiscus Barbie is a girl. new one. This is called hottest pink. What? Those are so. Good. I know. I'm sorry. They're my colors, but it's like they're so. Good. Listen. This is hottest You're, pink. No, show me the lie. Like this is. And this is hibiscus. It's one of the newer colors. Okay. Listen. Uh, yes, neons always lollipop. Ooh. ooh, 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 and then this is a brand new color. Love you guys haven't seen it, so it's okay. Oh wait, this is it. called Barbie Girl, <gasps> and it's very good. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> and then this I wanted to show you. This is cantaloupe, but it leans orange. But, but I'm, so many of these kay. pinks have that warmth in them, which I love. You guys, the oranges and the reds and the pinks right now for me are just going all together. Pink and Fabulous. orange. Like coral, which yes. is like the beautiful marriage of orange and pink, which I love, which is like lollipop, right? Yeah. No, it's hibiscus. hibiscus. That's lollipop. Yeah. Um, I love Jody. This whole thing. This would be an amazing sweater. Yes. Stripes. Yes. And it shines on mohair. Yes. And all of these are available on DK, fingering mohair, in our dyed to order section. And we say two to three turn two to three week turnaround, but everything's gone out these first few weeks within a week. Right. So That's we're, awesome. we're really happy about how, how Jody, it's going. Jody. Yeah. You guys have done an amazing So those are the pinks. Job. I wanted to bring the pinks to show <gasps> you guys. We have a brand new mini set. Jody. I saw this on Instagram. This one's, do you guys know what I, my vision was? Yes. Like, you know, those old retro stripes, but, and then this is what we came up with. It's awesome. It's available on DK and fingering and it's called retro vibes. And this is not big apple. This is, that tangelo. is big apple. What's tangelo. There was something this. Okay. Yeah. Love it. And neon coral <gasps> linen and indigo. I totally get that vibe. I'm obsessed with indigo. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Right? Yes. So that's a mini set. Jody, I love it. Um, <gasps> so cute. Okay, this is a brand new colorway. Oh my god! I love from it. last week, it's called Clueless. That's really fun. And it's got like the Barbie girl. It's got hibiscus in it. It's got our new citron color. Um, and I've brought some ideas. Ooh. We can, This is citron. We can pair it with citron. We can add some hibiscus in there. Oh, wow. Or you know what else looks <gasps> really good? Is chestnut. Yes. Like you could take out anything. You could have just this as the color work. Yes. But you could also add chestnut in there and like you said this indigo literally goes with everything it goes with everything it's actually that indigo indigo would be awesome with it yeah yeah would be amazing you have so okay, many so that's options a new colorway so many options this, this barbie girl's insane it's kissing so booth <gasps> love kissing booth we have oh. redyed it it's not new um but tracy had paired it with on the vine yes but this is big apple i love big apple so it's an orangier red um, but you could also put Hello Yellow with it. But there is an element of a uh, little bit of pops of green in there. Okay, Hello Yellow is another one that I think is... These are all amazing, but this is one I would always need to have. It's such a good... It is a neon at a very light strength. But it, it just goes with everything. Like There's a nothing this doesn't go with. I call that a pale neon. It's so pretty. Right? Like a pastel neon. Yeah. <gasps> oh and then there's blue in there. So okay. there's nautical would go beautifully with that too. That kissing booth is incredible. And totally. then obviously if you want to throw and in. Like what doesn't yeah. it go with? What doesn't it go with? Okay. Kissing booth is incredible. That's also a pair of socks that I have not finished. Right. Um, Lisa Frank. Love. That looks right? exactly like what that is. And so I've paired it with lemony <gasps> limey. Actually, lemony limey goes with all of the pinks, green and pink. So lemony limey. This is jelly bean. That's amazing. Um, this is. I was uh, just gonna say, do you guys rocks? have a bright purple? That's perfect. Pop rocks. Oh. <gasps> and then this is again the hottest pink. 
So any combination of is amazing. Wow. Yeah. Okay, next. I'm feeling the vibe. Like, winter's almost over, you guys. We yeah. have to think We're all bright. colors. We have to think bright. Yeah. Um, This is fairy floss. We've had it say before. awesome. Yeah, we've had it before. It's a very pale, um, pale blue. Okay, I love. Or it goes really good with jelly bean, you guys. But I brought Mayflowers. Oh, yeah. No, that's the way I paired it. I have those two colors. I haven't done anything with it, but that's what I bought together because I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. And this aqua for sure. Yeah. Jelly bean. Oh, my God, Jody. And then I'm loving the dirtier colors with a pop of bright. And in here is a really dirty green speckle. So I pulled prickly pear. That's cute. Like if you want like a complimentary contrast. Totally. I think it looks really pretty. <gasps> How fun. Okay. Safety oh, that's dance. Pretty. I love that. Isn't that oh, pretty? Oh my God. That's really pretty. Okay. So for this, I pulled, because I don't know if you guys can see it, but really fun pops of neon. <gasps> that's what we are that's loving so right now pretty. is the pops of neon. So we've pulled neon coral because there's lots of that happening. Um, I love that. There's the lavender. Peaks of lavender. That's gorgeous. Right? You could also go much darker. Tracy's dying to get in here. Oh my color. God. This this is this pile of yarn is but look amazing. at this. This is called Lemonhead and it's our bright neon. Okay, but also hello yellow. So you're still gonna get that speckly contrast because it but it's lower. Lower. Because I love neon. Not everybody, but I feel like you're going to get the same. I love this. But I love this lavender. I super, like this pairing right here, I think is, and what you've been showing. Like, and really, if you don't love speckles all over, just these singles. This knit up, it's on it, yeah. its own. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. I super love this cantaloupe and yeah. the, this mauve Yeah. And your bright pops of, oh, you guys are just killing me. Killing me. Okay, you guys, I pulled Winter New York because I was wearing it, and sometimes it's not so easy to see, but you can see those pops of gold, and then there's some uh, deeper blue and teal kind of. This is kind stunning. Of. Like, just So we pulled stunning. a few color options to go with that, and the first one being slate blue. Oh, I love that, Because Jody. it's got the blue in there. What about slate? Do you have siren? Yeah. How I is have... that different? Slate blue. Uh, Siren is a little greenier. Okay. Okay, I love. Look at that. And your ochre is, isn't it phenomenal? Amazing. <gasps> but if you don't like that, like there's, uh, this is teal. That's really pretty. And this is slate blue. So it's a little bit different. So if you wanted something a little bit lighter, that is, wow. But if you don't love the greeny blues, this is denim. I love them both. Would oh. be incredible with it. Or all of it. Like, how fun, have fun yeah. with stripes. Listen, how many uh, five skein shawls does Stephen West have? That would be yes. an amazing choice. This ochre is just calling. Ochre. <laughs> okay, Cardi. Um, f a flamingo. Oh, yeah. We brought back flamingo, which this is lollipop, you guys, right here. So good. So I pulled lollipop, but I also pulled two of our grays. There's a mouse gray, and then there's a charcoal. That's amazing. We also have Onyx, which is very black. Um, it's a really saturated, dark, dark <sighs> black. I'm sorry. Gray and coral, like you might as well right. just. So that's a combination of wow and is what it is. It's fun to give the pairings now. Like when we come out with these speckles, it's fun. Totally. Because people are like, oh, I love that together. Like this even, like three color shawl. I know it's not like two super more. wild, but it's totally going to look amazing. Yeah. <gasps> and it could, that speckle could be a very small peeking out I in super, a shawl. And stripes to <gasps> oh, me, look at that. to me, stripes in a speckled yarn mm -hmm. are awesome. Mm -hmm. So even like a striped hat or striped socks or whatever, I yeah. think that's really lovely. That's denim and safety dance. <gasps> okay. Of course, I have the song like going through my head as you. Two more. Our Kay. next one is Blackberry Jam, which we've had before. 
Junk so weed. blackberry so jam. Oh, so here's a full indigo. Wow. Um, it's very indigo. Like it's very like purpley blue, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, Concord mm. for all my pink. Mm. Purple, purple's huge. Purple's huge. People um, love purple. That would go really pretty. This is called sangria. That's really pretty. But look at this lilac ice. Look at this Viva Magenta. Okay, Vincent says he's screenshotting all these color combos. That's so funny. Viva Magenta. Good idea. Okay, Viva Magenta. Viva. Um, um, look at these three. Together. I love it. Oh, yeah, that's super fun. Right? Yeah, super For fun. For all my purple peeps. And then I have one more. It's more of an... Oh, Jody, I think you guys have done, Earth. I mean, an awesome job. But I love the brights, the soft, but these neutrals, too, are unbelievable. Yeah, we're going to make sure we pull these in as well. These earthy, I love them. more neutrals. Okay, so this is granite. It was OG way back in the book. So it's been a minute. Right. Um, but I love it. So this is a combination of um, sand and taupes and browns and like those golden browns. It's like warm and cool. Yes. I love those colors. So um, I pulled chestnut. That looks so good. Right? Yeah. Mom loved this one. Um, I have pulled, is this linen? Linen. Right. So like even with my sweater, you could do the whole sweater in chestnut and do the color work. Mm -hmm in the speckle mm -hmm. i think that's gorgeous um if this is too i don't know gold for you i pulled a walnut that's pretty right i really love that one but What's then that? this one is called taupe wow. which is very mushroomy kind of taupey but i mean look at this okay so taupe is like a neon's best friend yes here like taupe is like the picture frame, isn't that versatile, hey? Like it just goes with everything. You guys, this pile, I'm just gonna pull this down. Wow, Jody. Can you see down here? No, no, I guess not. But it's a mountain of yarn. Wow, that was close. People saw our pores. <laughs> um, and also like here's charcoal, if you wanna go um, that route with this, cause there's some, some, actually there's charcoal speckles on here as well. And a lot of us, I know me, I'll go to like gray. So I'll like yeah. pick this. But look at the difference between gray mm -hmm. and taupe. Like cool and kind of mm -hmm. warmer, yeah. but richer. I love it. I think that taupe is brilliant. And all of these, See, these this, neutrals are incredible. This is the combination. Oh, yeah. See, this lilac ice is not as um, rich and gray, like smoky. Right. But I would love to get this version of gray in the palette. That's awesome. But this would go. You could do that. Oh, wouldn't th that would totally work. Denim. Yeah. Denim and chestnut, you guys. Yeah, that would be really nice. I love chestnut. I actually should have I gotten... actually love that denim with the ochre. Like oh, it's ridiculous. Just a sec. Look at that. I have two more. I could not literally could not fill more yarn in my bag. Wow. Strike. Okay. <gasps> I want to show you guys something. That sweet tart sweater in denim with ochre stripes. Yes. Or denim and lollipop stripe. Or denim and hibiscus stripe. Or mini skeins. Yeah. Hi, G. Hi, George. Georgia, we're podcasting. She okay. doesn't care. Um, this is I really interesting. So Jordan was on the speckle pot. What is that? Oh, this kissing is kissing booth, booth I, I was it. showing you. And before we put the last speckle on top of here, Jordan said, ooh, I love I left it before the last speckle we put on, so she re-dyed it. Oh. This is the same yarn minus the last speckle. What a difference, hey? So right. It, yeah, wow. So this one's totally called, different. This one's called Dunk Tank, which is That's really cute. Very, very. Where's the Hello Yellow? Oh, right down here. That. Dang. Oh, yeah, that's great together. Or this, this nautical yeah. is really pretty. Yeah. And to me, screams spring. Yeah. This is fresh and new. So and... kissing booth and then a dunk tank was born. So the wow. two of them. So that's fun. That is amazing. Um, and then wow. we brought back um, Frosé. We, we kind of always have it in the shop. 
We I we adore. Rose. It's so pretty. Um, it's got a very light champagne and a very pretty pink. That is gorgeous. With it. Um, but I think it would be stunning with something like linen. Right. But then you could go. You can go totally different. Actually, there was a there was a, a blush that I wanted to pull, but I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. I mean, you could go bright too, right? Yeah, that's super pretty. So, and denim again, like everybody's BFF. Actually, this would be beautiful if yeah. you wanted a really good match with Viva mm -hmm. Magenta and Frosé. But there's also Prosecco in the shop. It's called Prosecco, and it's very champagne-y. Okay. So it kind of picks up on this champagne. Holy moly. Color. I cannot even. So the speckles are not dyed to order, but just request something, and we're, we've we been really good about getting that in the shop. But the dyed to order are all the tonals. Wow. You guys have really been amazing amazing in the dye pots it's been busy i but bet I, it it brings me so much joy i can imagine yeah. you guys have really let's open a yarn store i'll dye the in-house yarn uh-huh and you run the front of the house uh-huh okay perfect. i feel like that's a very Done. good division of labor <laughs> very good i'll trade you and we'll hire all our children to Ooh. do the shitty jobs we don't like right um, Jody, this is like epic. I love playing with these colors. Mm, it's fun. Yeah, beautiful. So that's it. Okay. Yeah. What the heck is this? Oh, Barbie girl. So such a difference between hottest pink and Barbie girl. I want to get that in Frank's beanie. Which? These two colors together. Oh, yeah, that would be amazing. Barbie girl is Where's Big Apple again? Right here. See That's what awesome I mean too. by the pinks That's and awesome the reds too. together? Yeah. It's so good. I didn't have an on the vine dyed this up. Would, yeah. Oh, really? Actually, truth be told, I actually pulled some of my, I pulled a bunch of my colors for sample, so I've got to redo. Usually I like to keep one of everything just so I can play with color, but. I have siren too. I think I'll do siren and hibiscus. It's, that would be I amazing. also have lollipop, I think. You can't go wrong. No, I'm super excited. But but hottest pink and Barbie girl. Love. So what is your plan this weekend? Anything? Huh? I hadn't really thought ahead. What about you? Plans? Knitting. Taupe and Barbie girl. Yeah, knitting for sure. Taupe and Barbie girl, you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With a splash of... Taupe I would should be... have brought Elmer because we love that. Um, I have one wound up. You want to see no, it? And Siren. To. I'm just going into... Winding yarn takes forever. Even when you have a machine. You got to be doing something else. You got to like you're waiting. Putting it in. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to go into my saved. Okay. Because sometimes... I feel like we've been here a long time. I feel like I put some things in there. I have a file called podcast things. Uh-huh. Because sometimes... Sometimes I just like to save it on instagram right this is what i was gonna say this what is that i haven't seen that okay um disturbing the fleece has oh. a brand new cowl out oh uh, it is called the radical cowl and 50 percent of proceeds now through march 31st no, 50% from the sales of the cowl pattern. Oh. And $10 from every kit to March 31st will go towards the Radical Threads magazine. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. It is super cool, you guys. It is. I'm going to show you a picture of the cowl close up. It's like, um, what do you call this when it's like, like modular? I modular love that. Modular knitting where you've got some cables, you've got some stripes, you've got... The, the knitting going different directions. I love that. Wow, that's so creative and beautiful. Um, Serendipitous Wool has teamed up with Lola Bean Yarn mm. and Radical Threads, who did the pattern. So there's yarn Disturbing the fleece. Sorry, Disturbing the Fleece. That's an amazing collaboration to support Radical Threads magazine. Um, which, you guys, if we don't support, if us as knitters don't support these independent, small businesses like radical threads mm -hmm. it's not going to be around mm -hmm. so um that's 
So true. Yeah. So Fatima is the designer. Serendipitous. Um, no. Did I say that right? Yeah. Serendipitous Wool. And Lola Bean. And Lola Bean are the dyers. Okay. That's an amazing um, collab. That's not true. No. Elizabeth, who is uh, Desimore Designs, along with Fatima, who is Disturbing the Fleece, are the designers. Oh, okay. And then Serendipitous Wool and Lola Bean Yarn Company oh, wow. are the yarn. That's amazing. And in combination with all of this, they're doing um, a fundraiser for Radical Threads magazine. Okay. <gasps> Wow. I think I got most of that right. I think you knocked it out of the park. Yeah. It's a co-design, thank you, Star, cowl. Wow. And a co- Kits are available for purchase right now. Is this right now? Yeah. Okay. So check out Serendipitous Wool. And it's a knit version or a Tunisian crochet version. See? So that's why there's two different designers. There's a knitted could be. One and a Tunisian crochet. Could be. You were so close. I was close. I was real close. I Just, think that's what it means. We got to the line but didn't cross it. Okay. And it looks great. Mm-hmm. I love that photo. Look at that. Yeah, she looks stunning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love the style of that Thank cowl. you, Vincent. I love it. You guys get the gist. Go buy the cowl and, and the buy thing, the yarn. Right? Everybody's got to go... Now you know about it. You know where the kits are. Mm -hmm. You know where to find the design. And it would be amazing if you would go support that in some way, if you can. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Magic oh, Mike came goodness. out. Did anyone go see Magic Mike? I haven't. Have you? No. Oh. But I did rewatch number one. Did you? Just yeah. for funsies? That Just... movie holds up. Okay. So here is the Tunisian crochet. Isn't it gorgeous? Wow. You guys. Oh. So beautiful. Okay, stunner. To be able to watch the different combinations and the colors of these. Because totally. it's that so uh, mo mobile. Mobius? Yeah. What did you call it? Um, modular. modular, I guess. Because yeah. then you might, it looks like you might pick up stitches around the edge and yeah. do these beautiful cables and awesome. Yeah. Um, Your husband's home today. That's so funny that you could do a U-turn. Magic Mike and, oh, I love this cowl. It's like all the same um, breath. Are you doing planning anything? My husband is off today. He works always a day Sunday. on the weekend, so he's um, he's off today. And he was out doing errands and stuff. And now I think he's going to play virtual golf with a friend as they go and do this like in the golf simulator thing. He misses golf okay. in the winter. Yeah, totally right. Yeah. At this point, yeah. it's been so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should go to Phoenix for the like weekend. you get to use your own clubs and everything. Why right? doesn't he go to Phoenix for four days? Yeah, why doesn't he? It's called a job. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, Melissa, I want to say this. Oh, um, Melissa, who <gasps> is knitting some samples for me for Frankie Gay Fryber, just started a podcast. Uh, That's it's, exciting. It's called Stitches Be Slippin, and oh, it's cute. a brand new podcast. She's adorable. Okay. So if you can, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, put on Melissa and listen to what she I has totally to say. I totally do that. You guys. She's a beautiful knitter. Um, We, last year at this time, we heard about the Knit for Food Knit-a-thon. Yeah, it's only taken us two and a half hours to get here. We should have done this at the very beginning. So Laura Nelkin, the last, this is year three, has gotten together she's sort of i believe she's formed this team where you can donate money and you're raising money to combat food insecurity and you're supporting um feeding america world central kitchen meals on wheels and no kid hungry so we can all go donate it's to we want to combat food insecurity yes and bring awareness to yeah. what a huge issue i feel like is it fair to say maybe now more than ever? With it just seems yes, everything the is price gone of groceries, crazy. It's just the whole inflation and what we're living in this moment. Yeah. Food has never been more expensive. I, I totally, and we've seen that ourselves. Yeah. Our regular job is you know a family grocery store. So this fundraiser. You know, we support our local food bank all year long through work and personally. And this is in our blood with being in this, groceries, right? Totally. So this is a knitting um, 
community banding together to do some good over the last two years they've raised over half a million dollars mm-hmm. the knitters have killed it don't donate yet because we have a link no i put it down in our description yesterday so it should okay. be there already we want to win <laughs> it's nobody no, we're gonna everybody's win. a winner but here's the thing um we do things like go to starbucks and you know spend our five or six dollars on a latte if you what we are challenging you if you over the next month are able to do something like send um even little bit like those five or six dollars for your latte if you could possibly support this i feel like it's going to make a huge difference we can band together with small we don't have to donate a lot of money let me let me say this Okay. I'm afraid already. No, no. Don't be afraid. <laughs> oh, my God. We're so lucky to have around 40,000 views yeah. or more. Yeah. More. That's being on the conservative side. Right. I would like to challenge every single viewer to donate $2. Seriously. If everybody $2 that watches people. this video. So this is actually going for the next five weeks. You're going to hear us talk about this. A we lot. will talk about it again next time way sooner i don't know who's still around um but we do have a link we've um you can find us on that there's a whole bunch of people supporting Mm -hmm. this fundraiser but you can there is a grocery girls team we have a link it's in our instagram Uh, it's in our link in bio we're going to send out a newsletter. We would really like to spread the word. We want to win. And Jody's apparently thinks it's a competition. I just think um it's a win for people it is with a win food for insecurity. Everyone. So, listen, we we don't ask you guys for anything. A few times a year when it's really important and near it's and true. dear to our heart. That is so true. So we are asking you, everybody who watches this video. so many people say, you should do a Patreon. You know what? This We'd is rather, our Patreon. We would rather do this. We would rather. Give us $2. Give us $2 wow. through our link. It That's would be what ama- we're asking. It would be amazing. So, um. Yay to Laura Nelkin. I mean, I, we heard about it so late last year and we knew a year ago we wanted to be part of spreading the word and helping, you know, helping to help. So that's what, okay, so here's this too. When people say, oh, when people think, oh, I, you know, it's not in my budget right now. And we get that. That's it not is for not every, in everyone's budget. But, that's the truth. But $2, you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to bother. Like what's $2 going to do? It means... It means we could raise eighty thousand dollars. Listen, if everybody gave a two, I was gonna yeah. say a toonie. In Canada, we have a two dollar coin, but if everybody um, chipped in a dollar or two, I we could all make a big. This difference. is your two dollar challenge. Mm-hmm. We're asking you to give us two dollars over the next five weeks. One time, give us two dollars. Wow. With the link in it, the description it would, box it below. Would, together, we can do amazing things. So, I'm pumped. We're gonna I'm win. <laughs> I'm excited. Jody hopes there's a trophy of some kind. But, I mean, it, it is true. We do not all need to give a big donation to make a big difference. This this is the shit that gets me excited. I know, this me is too. the stuff that having the people that watch us, we can say we have made a difference in people's it, lives. Listen, it it is so true. Yeah. It's amazing to have this community that wants to come and hang out with us and hear about our knitting and whatever. Yeah. This is the whatever right now for us for the next five weeks. The whatever is something really, really important. Um, It's really close to our heart. We do support these sorts of programs locally because somebody said, there's always somebody that's going to say, oh, well, that's not Canadian. Well, there's a lot of Canadian places you can absolutely support and we do that locally all the time support your local food bank a hundred percent right this is something that was started up and it's still gonna help so many people you don't just wait you guys the link because we're live right now it doesn't have the full description it box doesn't? below the video i don't oh, should we check um i, think, I did put it in our description i think once now. the video's posted which will be in the next few minutes right as soon as we say goodbye um the link will be down below for you guys and it is it is a link to the give mm-hmm. which is hosting the the whole fundraiser so thank you it's not there star says okay well it must be there once we once the video posts no i don't even see it there oh the minimum is five dollars oh, okay geez if only we knew all the details <laughs> shit 
Give us a cough. Give us a Starbucks well, coffee. Well, thank you. Thank you for every penny. It means so much. Yeah, for some reason, it doesn't look like it's down there. What the F? Because I did it yesterday. Well, that's great. Um, it should, We'll do it right away as soon as we're done. And we're what? ready to say goodbye. Technology, some days, can just... Just might not have saved properly. Suck it. This was great, you guys. This was packed. It was packed. With Jam information. packed, folks. With the amount, like, because over these two weeks, like, I do notes. See? Look. Did you save it? Yes. Save That's... it again. Anyway, I don't know why it's like that. Okay. Look under the description box when the video is live. It we will, will be make there. sure it's going to be yeah. okay. We'll make sure. <gasps> anyway. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thank you, everybody. We Thanks love for challenging. We do. Thank you for donating. Thank you for keeping us company. Thank you for your questions. Thanks for hanging out. You can thank us by donating. Right. We love it. <laughs> Shamelessly, I will beg for money. Listen, I'm not begging for myself. Yeah. It is. It's a real. It is a real, real problem. Yeah. Families we that don't it. have enough on yeah. the on the food on their table. So let's yeah. just make. Do what we can, right? We can do what we can. Yeah, obviously the link is going to take you. There's a, a whole bunch of knitters that have joined you underneath. And you'll see our Grocery Girls logo. You want to click on the logo and then yeah. donate under our Yeah, I mean, if you click our, our link, it should automatically be there. Like when you click our link, it's okay. it's custom. But yeah. you can even just Google Knit for Food and donate any yeah. way. But it would be really awesome to know who... You know, it's fun to have a We're team. We're going to know who watched it's and who didn't It's fun to donate. have a team yeah. at Tally. We enjoy that. I love a good friendly competition. <laughs> Laura, it's on. <laughs> it's on like Donkey Kong. Right. And Jody will uh, come to your house and knit with you. Yeah. Winning. If you donate. Right. There you go. Yeah. Uh, too funny. What are you doing this afternoon? Work? I have I a little have, bit of email, then maybe a little bit of knitting. We have, I have bags coming out soon, and I have Jody. someone sewing for me. Jody. So I'm working on getting all the pieces cut out and everything together to send a package this Mrs. weekend. Mrs. Brown's Bags Corp. Limited. In conjunction with Frankie Gray Fiber. There you go. Yarn. There you go. Yeah. Sheila. She, Sheila just got here. Sheila. We've been waiting for you the whole time. Now we're done. You got to go back and watch from the beginning. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay. Um, okay, you guys have a great rest of your week. We will see you in two weeks. How we're still doing this? I don't even know. You would think we would have our shit together after seven years. No, we don't. But it's still super fun, and I still super love coming, and I feel, you know, we feel the love. We hope you guys feel it being sent right back to you through this YouTube screen. We just can't seem to get it under three hours. Jody, We that's... love it. We don't have to talk about... Half an hour's worth of TV and books and stuff at the beginning. That's fun. Who wants to get right into it? A lot of people. We got to butter everybody up. Lots it's like of the people. foreplay for the yarn talk. There you go. And Jody may or may not have knitting, so who knows? That might be all it's she has to bring air. to the table. Right. My milkshake brings no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys! It has been a great time. Thank you. Thank you.